After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. This shit's great. Approaching Soviet airspace. It's PS2, yeah. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Our main parachute. All right. You ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cav okay. Good. Cloud invisibility. Got high visibility. Cigar. Connecting oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask. Does this panty waste know what he's doing? Approaching release point. It's up Ten minutes yeah. to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? Depressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. Sunrise. Celsius. Two minutes to drop off. Stand up. This game is very hard to emulate, yeah. For some reason. You'll be falling at 130 miles per hour. Try not to get frostbite from the wind. This chill. game does not get it nearly one as dank as Metal Gear Solid 2, no. This is one for the history books. The world's first halo jump. Ten seconds to drop off. Stand by. Status okay, all green. Prepare for drop off. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. Jack, I've got some important news. The head of the CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? No, the virtuous mission. The future of our FOX unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission? Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well... About two years ago, a certain Soviet scientist requested asylum in the West through one of our moles. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. He's head of the OKB-754 Design Bureau, one of the Soviet's top-secret weapon research facilities, and the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov? Isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned spaceflight 
in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no god. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok rocket. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development to become the head of the newly established Design Bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a design bureau, that's quite a success story, so why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Afraid? Call it a crisis of conscience. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the West. He used a mole to get the family out first and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over the Berlin Wall shortly afterwards. I was the one who conducted the operation. The security on the eastern side was still full of holes back then. Then what? We got Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole ordeal had left him exhausted, and we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. Hey, Javo. And it was only a week later that we had something much bigger on our hands. The Cuban Missile Crisis. October the 16th, 1962, President Kennedy received word that the Soviets were in the process of deploying intermediate-range ballistic missiles in Cuba. The President demanded that the Soviets dismantle and remove the missiles. At the same time, he announced a naval blockade to prevent further missile shipments from reaching Cuba. But the Soviets didn't back down, instead placing their armed forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport ships carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. U.S. and Soviet forces went on alert for an all-out nuclear war. Frantic negotiations were conducted through the UN's Emergency Security Council and unofficial channels to end the hair-trigger standoff. Finally, on October the 28th, the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba. And so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. But in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, we had to make a deal. You mean the one where the U.S. agreed to remove its IRBMs from Turkey? No. The Jupiter IRBMs deployed in Turkey were obsolete, and we were going to get rid of them anyway. They had no strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. They wanted us to return Sokolov. You mean the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? Hey, Torpedo. Yeah, man, it's That's cool. right. What the hell was he working on? Hope you're well, man. At the time, we had no idea. We were running out of time. It was either give up Sokolov or risk full-scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no choice. President Kennedy gave in to Khrushchev's demand. The next day, I got Sokolov out of the hospital handing him over to agents on the eastern side. Sokolov kept on screaming, save me, until he disappeared from my sight. Then a month ago, we received some new information from one of our moles. About Sokolov? Yes. He was taken back to the research facility and forced to continue working on the weapon in question under KGB supervision. What's more, it's on the verge of completion. So what kind of weapon is it? Something to do with space rockets? No. Missiles. Same technology. I guess you're right. We don't know the details, but it appears to be a new kind of nuclear device. For half a year now, the Soviets have been conducting frequent nuclear tests at Semipalatinsk. Something to do with the weapon, I assume. We're talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba to get it back. Is Sokolov still in the facility? No. According to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask, a place in the mountains about three miles to the west that's known as the Virgin Cliffs. Hey, Bert. The Virgin Cliffs? Nice name for a virtuous mission. They moved him there just recently. Why? Apparently, they're conducting a field test of the weapon, but it's our best chance to get him back. This mission would never have been possible if he was still in the research facility. This is our last chance. Sokolov must have known that, too, when he contacted us. Woo!
I saw a torpedo, yeah, I saw it. Good stuff. mission is to infiltrate oh, yeah. Selino Yask in the Soviet mountains, ensure the safety of Sokolov and bring him back to the west. You can place R R1 in certain cutscenes to see from the eyes. If we don't get Sokolov back before that weapon is complete, we'll be facing a major crisis. The clock is ticking. <laughs> Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton surface-to-air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat proof. Do you think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two six-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40mm machine guns. Sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours home in time for dinner but if anything goes wrong you'll be eating dinner breakfast and all the rest of your meals in the jungle Yeah, you play as Raiden in this game, too. I was joking when I was talking about the other stuff. Oh, yeah. I think I need to move my camera. Like, uh... I don't... I think I should go, like, here because of the subtitles, so... <laughs> I can't do anything yet. Snake. Yeah, the camo, you can see my camouflage top right. It's such a cool system. Like 80%. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake? 
What, you don't like snakes? Oh, you don't like What do you mean? You've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Be careful. You might not have a choice. What about you, Major? What should I call you? Hmm, let's see. I'll be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. Oh, and Snake? Yeah. The crew isn't watching anymore. You can take off the disguise now. Good idea. This isn't right. Time for the snake to shed his skin. Kills, dude. <laughs> Can you hear me, Major Tom? This is Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment are procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Gotcha. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to feed myself? You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. This will be non-lethal play. Medical supplies in your backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way down. I see. Well, you better go back and get it then. You know where it is? No problem. I can see it from here. It's stuck on a branch. To climb a tree, stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy and press the action button. I'll be monitoring your progress over the radio. We can't risk violating Soviet airspace, but I'll be in the gunship. My frequency is 140.85. I'll give you a call if I need to talk to you. If you need to talk to me, use the send function. Okay, Snake. Go get your backpack. I'm gonna kill animals. I need to eat, dude. We're not doing vegan playthrough. Cool, and thanks to hey, 18, my cheese balls, 30. Thank you. Priyo, thanks to 71. Fudu doing 14. Leap Maggie, 32. Dakiri, 26. Brands, 4. Skrzilla, 20. Hey, Thermo, 61. Thank you, thank you. I give my life. Not hey, for you. honor. But for you. <laughs> what hey, is this? you. LF Mesh. <laughs> um. Mm, taste unknown. Right. Hey, you. Oh, am I covering the camouflage? Let's go down here. This should be perfect. There's my bag. Hey, you. Grab the shit. Another victim. <gasps> I don't know, Zerai. My emulator crashed at the credits. I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window hey, in the you. upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip and press the enter button. For other equipped items, just do the same thing from item. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. Yep, that's right. Survival is fundamental to this mission. <clears throat> After you've been out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. If your stamina gets too low, it'll affect your performance. You won't be able to shoot accurately, for example, 
and your wounds won't heal as smoothly. Keep an eye on your stamina so you don't run out. To recover lost stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. You can use either your tranquilizer gun or your knife to hunt. My only weapon is a Mark 22 Hush Puppy tranquilizer gun? <laughs> That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. However, hey, the suppressor yeah, will like deteriorate it. every time you fire. Once its durability reaches oh, yeah, zero, this durability. the suppression effect will be gone. So don't get too trigger happy with it. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. Any weapons and equipment beyond what you're carrying now, you'll have to find as I you forgot go. about that. There's actually I durability. Have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this anyway? Solo covert actions are standard Fox operating procedure. You can't leave any traces of your presence. No weapons, equipment, footprints, sweat, or bodily waste. The same goes for bullets and cartridges, too. Your presence in enemy territory is already a violation of international conventions of warfare. There aren't supposed to be any American soldiers in Russia. It could spark an international incident. You can't let anyone see you. You can't let the enemy know you're there. This is a stealth mission. You're a ghost snake in every sense of the word. And there'll be no rescue if you're captured. The military and U.S. government will deny any involvement in the affair. Then I'll just have to take care of myself, huh? <laughs> I'm afraid so. You've been given a fake death pill for that purpose. Oh. SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one be issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Tape it to your body so you can take it when you need to. How generous of you. Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy. It'll send you into a state of false death for a short time. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. So, how do I come back to life? Just take the revival pill. You mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? That's the one. But be careful. If you remain in a state of false death for too long, nothing will be able to bring you back. Mm. Remember that. I'll keep it in mind. You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. A real one-man army. Relax. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Who? I'll introduce them to you. This time, survival is of utmost importance. The first member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording your mission data. She's a member of Fox as well, and she's here on the gunship with me. She? Hello, Snake. I'm Paramedic. Nice to meet you. Paramedic. As in a medic who comes in by parachute. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Snake? My name, huh? It's John Doe. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. What's your name? Jane Doe. <laughs> Very funny. I wasn't joking, but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. My Do not lethal. is 145.73. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Whenever you want to save, send a message over the reserved save frequency, 140.96. So saving lets me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Nerdy, thank you. I better get stream. No. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. Huh? Speaking of snakes, you remember the boss, don't you? A legendary soldier and your mentor. Actually, it was the boss that got the DCI's authorization in the first place. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission advisor. The boss is? She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. Jack, is that you? How many years has it been? Boss? That's right. It's me. <sighs> Talk to me. Let me hear your voice. It's been five years, 72 days, and 18 hours. You've lost weight. You can tell just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Well, I don't know anything about you. What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. Hmm. You didn't need me anymore. But there were still so many things I wanted you to teach me. No, I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. I taught you all I could. 
The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. A soldier needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. In fact, technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Spirit and body are like two sides of a single coin. They're the same thing. I can't teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to me, Jack. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins you can commit. Politics determine who you face on the battlefield. And politics are a living thing. They change along with the times. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that why you abandoned me? No, it had nothing to do with you. I already told you, Jack, I was on a top secret mission. A soldier has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not his place to question why. But you're looking for a reason to fight. You're a natural born fighter, but you're not quite a soldier. A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no place in his mission. He has no enemies and no friends. Only the mission. You follow the orders you're given. That's what being a soldier is. I do whatever I have to to get the job done. I don't think about politics. That's not the same thing. Sooner or later, your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic? It means devoting yourself to your country. I follow the president and the top brass. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. The president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. I follow the will of the leader, no matter who's in charge. People aren't the ones who dictate the missions. Then who does? The times. People's values change over time, and so do the leaders of a country. So there's no such thing as an enemy in absolute terms. The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms, constantly changing with the times. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. And that's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake? Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right. The legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra unit. A group of heroes that brought the war to an end and saved the world. As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. Survival is going to be key. Those CQC techniques I taught you are sure to come in handy. CQC? Close quarters combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not to worry. I'll be here to help you remember. After all, this is your first actual survival mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the Major? The boss is communicating with us by radio from aboard a permit-class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. My frequency is 141.80. Call me if you need my advice on battle techniques. Gotcha. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. Dr. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located to the north of your current position. Avoid heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. Call of Duty playthrough. DSP playthrough. Come. <clears throat> Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. God, I'm so fucking excited for this game. This game is so good. 
commencing virtuous mission now. Oh, there's a snake here. Uh, yeah, uh, tell me about Easter eggs when there is stuff. Please. Dremuchij Swampland. No radar, by the way. I'm playing on hard difficulty. Like I did the others. Always radio in when you eat new food. Oh, okay. <laughs> Probably zero, yeah. There's an item over there. Oh fuck. Don't move, dude. Ah, oh, this is scary. Wait, I'm sinking. Wait, what? You die there? Oh. I didn't realize. <laughs> I didn't realize you could die there. <laughs> Yo, Leopard, thank you, man. Um. I went back to your MGS2 VOD and according to your last mission failed screen you had 36 alerts. Only 36? Must have had a lot. Oh, oh okay. I, I already thought I had a lot more than that. <laughs> okay, so you can actually die by sinking here. I, I, I was clueless. I had no idea. Hey, you. Chill, little crocodile. Chill. What is this? SPMK. Is that a silencer? How do you rem triangle press to aim? Oh, so that's how you remove them. Okay, so I have three silencers. All right, they last for quite a while. Yo, I want to try Crocodile. Ah, ah, fuck! Oh. Die! Ah, ah shit, I'm gonna die. Ah! Yeah! Hell yeah. I want to see what happens when you eat stuff. Um, okay, so you actually have passive health regen. That's cool. Okay, food. Oh yeah, you press circle. All right. Let's eat the crocodile and see what happens. Taste unknown. Eat. Not too bad. Okay, so who do I call now after eating to know more about it? Paramedic? Okay. I see you've captured a giant anaconda. Damn right. The giant anaconda is believed to be the largest snake in the world in terms of weight and diameter. It's not poisonous, but its large size makes it extremely powerful. They say it even eats crocodiles. Its only natural predator is man. And snake. And snake. The giant anaconda is a very large snake, but you should be able to capture it alive using the tranquilizer gun. Oh. Got it. So how does it taste? I knew you were going to ask me that. <laughs> Glad I didn't disappoint you. So? Well, the guide says it tastes all right. Good. I'll have to try some. <laughs> <sighs> I love these calls are so good, dude. I see you caught yourself a reticulated python. 
The reticulated python is said to be the longest snake in the world. Oh. The biggest ones can grow up to 10 meters in length. 10 meters? Although they're not poisonous, they're still very dangerous. So oh, damn, Omni, all right, all right. They have a highly ferocious temperament, and they can swallow whole, even large animals like deer and pigs. That's insane. Their most distinguishing feature is the mesh pattern of their scales. This pattern acts as a highly effective natural camouflage. If you think there might be a reticulated python about, pay close attention to your surroundings. Otherwise, you could get bitten before you even know it's there. Okay. It's a huge snake, but you should be able to capture it alive by using the tranquilizer gun. Okay. I'll bet if you capture one and throw it at an enemy, it'll give him a good scare. What? You can do that? Right. But how do they taste? <laughs> huh? Do they taste good? You're actually going to eat one. <laughs> Why else would I be asking? <laughs> Cannibal. What was that? Nothing. Let's see what the guide says. Ah, you're in luck. It says they taste pretty good. Good. I can hardly wait. <laughs> yeah. oh, these calls are amazing, dude. I see you've captured an Indian gavial. The Indian gavial is a crocodile that originally lived in freshwater regions in India and Nepal. Why are Indian crocodiles way out here? They're captive crocodiles that were brought here for research purposes, but escaped and became wild again. Indian gavials are large creatures. Adult males grow to over six meters in length. You'll never catch one alive, even if you use the tranquilizer gun. Hmm. I tried the meat. It was great. Well, good for you. But be careful when capturing an Indian gavial. Normally, they're cowardly creatures. But the ones in the forest there are belligerent. Apparently, they attack humans. What do you mean? They weren't the direct subject of any serious research, but some think they may have become violent as a side effect of the atomic research that was conducted nearby. Yeah, you gotta call her before eating the stuff, too. To, to, when he asked, how did it taste? Yo, Shion, thanks for the Prime, man. Sorry, I missed that, dude. The real spook, thanks for the Prime, you too, dude. It's all, thanks for the 100 bits, brother. I don't think I've caught anyone at anything else. I could try calling her and see what she says, but I don't think so. The gauge below your life gauge is your stamina okay, gauge. Yeah. It shows, as the name suggests, your remaining stamina. As you consume stamina, your natural life regeneration is slowed and your hands shake more. Oh. Your O2 gauge and grip gauge mm -hmm, also zero. become shorter. Oh, Excessively hey, you. low stamina can often impede your mission objectives. Make sure you replenish stamina before that occurs. Right. All right, moving on. Unless... Okay, you can still lean like that, of course. Hey, you! I see a snake. Snake H. This one's alive. Oh, there's fruit here, too. Can I eat this? Oh! Sea fruit. Okay, can I call her about the fruit, too? Looks like you found a galova. Oh. Galova? Yeah, it's a fruit that's found only in that region. It's related to the jackfruit, which is commonly found in Southeast Asia. Jackfruit, huh? Yep, he's a cannibal. Huh? I didn't say anything. No, I'm sure you... I said, I'm sure you'd like it. Oh. Golova means head in Russian. Oh, it does? It's probably called that because the fruit grows to about the size of a human head. It's supposedly pretty good to eat with a uniquely sweet flavor. The fruit itself is fairly large, so you can make a meal out of it. Golovas grow directly off the trunk of the tree. If you're running low on stamina, it might be a good idea to keep an eye on the tree trunks. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, she has a really good voice, she does. Nika gave Zero a resub. Yo, thank you, thank you. I'm keeping a lookout for snakes and stuff. I want to try throwing one at a guard. Oh, there is one right here.
How do you actually do that anyway? So you go to backpack. I give my life not for honor. Is this the guard here? Anti-personnel sensor. Oh, it's weapons. Okay. R reticulated python. So I could literally throw this at enemies. And scare them. Hey, you. Press square to hold, release to throw. How strong square button is pressed varies. The oh my god, I'm going to be a psychopath this place. I know, ex I know exactly what to do. Yo, virus thanks for the one year. Thank you. Wait, uh, can you kill enemies with snake poison then? Is that lethal? I don't want I don't want to be I, I'm doing non-lethal playthrough. Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. Marcus, thank you for the continuing your sub, man. Thank you. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. We can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission oh. depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. So if I also, kill enemies with like snakes and stuff, that, that doesn't count. Your moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, yeah, the harder you are to spot and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? Yeah, I got you, Kinetic, yeah. All right, here we go. Bug juice. Eat food to recover stamina. Capture plants and animals to get oh, food. Oh, she doesn't say anything about it. I have information on the local plants and animals, so don't hesitate to ask. All right, time to try and see how this works. I'm 80% camo here. So let's see here. Camouflage. Face. Plus five. Yeah, it says there. So now I'm 85%. Mask. Uniform. Leaf. Plus five. Oh, this is such a cool system. It's fucking sick. 90%. This game has a lot of Easter eggs. Yeah, it does. Like, this guy is going to be completely clueless. He has no idea what's happening. Okay, go. I see the radio on the arm, too. Throw the snake. Dude, I'm gonna mess around with this guy. Just hold it. Another victim. First, you can grab them. Hey, you. Like this. <laughs> then. Speak. We won't hand over Sokolov. Right, okay. And if you mash circle, you can choke him out. Answer me. 
Let go of me. Now, you can drag him and you can throw him. Freeze. Freeze. Mm-hmm. Shoot. No, wait. Yeah, come on. Got something? Shoot his radio. Uh. Now he can't call reinforcement. Uh. Oh, uh. Cool. I'm not killing him. We gotta be lore friendly here. Oh, I see fruit. There's two guards here. Yeah, I've already called about the fruit. I haven't eaten the fruit yet, though. I see a guard over there. Might be able to catch him. He's walking right there. Gotta interrogate this guy. I'm tired because I was up late watching hentai. If you climb trees, there's fruit. There's fruit, huh? Freeze. Shake for me. Shake. Come on. You got some items, don't you? Come on. I know you can shake when you're laying down. Come on. Just do it. Please don't. There you go. Now go to sleep. Freeze. Drop your gun, bitch. You got some Don't for me? Don't shoot me, please. Hmm? Grenade. I only quit because context uh, uh, pressure sensitive buttons don't work super well in emulator, so. Wait, he's supposed to have an item you can call about? Oh, thermal goggles. Nice. There's another item on him.
Where'd he go? Is it this guy? Oh, shit. This guy's up again? Wake up! Hey, you! Oh wait, is that the item? No. I don't know what item you guys mean. Stone grenade. Is that what you mean? Oh. Apparently there's like an Easter egg item here. Oh, I see a frog up there. A book. That's what you mean, I guess. Answer me. Hornets. They're terrifying. Really? Freeze. Uh. How long do they lay on the ground like this? Okay, they actually... Oh, they lay like this forever? Hey, you. Do they? But if you put him to sleep... Oh, so he's just gonna lay there forever. That's just so OP, dude. Okay, I got a book. Um... What was that? I see a frog there. I got a call about it. <laughs> I see you've caught a tree frog. Yep. The tree frog is a green frog that's found throughout Asia. It's arboreal, spending most of its time in shrubs and bushes. But the tree frogs that live in that jungle are a lot bigger than ordinary tree frogs. They've got an appetite, huh? You've got a one-track mind, don't you? How does it taste? But seriously, that is one theory. However, there are people who think it's a mutation caused by nuclear testing and waste from the research facility. Do you think they're safe to eat? Is that all you ever think about? What else is there? Lots. Like what? Like why a frog would get so big in the first place. Whether it's a temporary <laughs> phenomenon created by a unique environment, or a permanent mark of evolution, or a product of the toxic waste coming out of the research facility. If it is the waste that's causing it, then it means humans are interfering with the ecosystem. It really makes you think about the changing relationship between... This isn't interesting. Oh, fine. Be that way. So, how about it? You mean, is it edible? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess it's probably okay. Probably. I don't know. The guide doesn't say anything. Pretty useless guide, if you ask me. Well, try one for dinner and you can help improve it. I mean, yeah, could do that, I guess. Cage full. How about I throw a snake on you? What happens then? You want this? <laughs> All right, moving on. I think. There's so many secrets and stuff in this game. Oh, there's mushrooms here. And I got a call about the book too. I see you found some Siberian ink cap mushrooms. Ink cap. The Siberian ink cap is a mushroom from the ink cap family. 
Its life cycle is transitory. As soon as the spores mature, the cap starts to turn black, liquefy, and melt away. And that's why they call it an ink cap? Huh. That's right. It doesn't really turn to liquid, but you get the idea. In its immature state, before it melts away, it's valued as a source of food. Just be sure not to eat them while you're drinking alcohol. Okay. Why is that? Ink caps contain coprin, which inhibits the function of aldehyde dehydrogenase. This prevents the body from breaking down alcohol, causing a buildup of acetaldehyde. Meaning? Meaning it will give you the hangover from hell. Oh. Wait a minute. What? You think I'd drink alcohol in the middle of a mission? Wouldn't you? Hell no. Well, I'm knocking a shot back now. What? Just teasing you. No. Oh, come on. Where's your sense of humor? I need a drink. I, lo I love this shit, dude. This is so good. So much love put into it. Stun grenade full. Let's see. Uh, backpack, weapons. The book is here? Yeah, okay. Publication with adult-oriented material. Full of girly photos and interesting columns. Okay, so... Oh, hello. Gamers 06. So you, you call the boss with this? The boss. Camouflage is an indispensable oh, tool when you're sneaking through the jungle. To use camouflage, first press the start button to go to the survival floor. Yes. Then select camouflage and press the enter button. Select uniform to select battle fatigues and face to select face paint. Yep. Choose battle fatigues that match the surrounding environment. The most effective camouflage is attained by selecting fatigues that blend in with the environment. Camouflage patterns that yeah. stand out in your surroundings will attract attention. But what about this book I have? Visibility is poor in the jungle, so you'll be finding yourself in a lot of unexpected encounters. Naturally, this means that close quarters combat will be more important than ever. So I'll have plenty of chances to use CQC then. That's right. In proximity <laughs> encounters, firing a gun isn't necessarily the best response to yeah, situation. Yeah, this is where it calls first. It's only one option among many. Rather than taking the time to draw, aim, and fire a gun, engaging your opponent in hand-to-hand -hand combat can sometimes be a faster and more reliable way of subduing him. Besides, in a sneaking mission like this one, hmm. it's too dangerous to go around firing your gun. Hey, You'll you. end up revealing yourself to the enemy. Yeah, I know. You created CQC to deal with exactly this type of situation. With your help, of course. In a battle situation, you'll only have a split second to decide how to attack. Use the weapon button to attack using a weapon, and the CQC button to attack using CQC. Press the CQC button once to throw a punch. Pressing it multiple times in succession will allow you to deliver a combo attack. But striking your opponent is just one aspect of CQC. It doesn't really start to shine until you've got your enemy in a hold. Press and hold down the CQC button no, no, to J3, grab your I'm opponent with your right hand. From there, once, you can I use think. the left analog stick to knock your opponent off balance and throw him to the ground. This can be used to knock an opponent out in a single blow. If you don't press the left analog stick, grapple with your enemy until you're behind them and can get your knife to their throat. Grabbing an enemy from behind and holding your knife against his throat will render him virtually powerless. From this point, there are several things you can do. Press the CQC button hard to slit the enemy's throat with your knife. Move the left analog stick and press the CQC button to throw the enemy to the ground. Lightly tap the CQC button rapidly to choke the enemy. You can use this to knock him out or even kill him if you do it long enough. By continuing to hold down the CQC button, you can move around while keeping your grip on the enemy. By pressing the weapon button, you can aim your currently equipped weapon at another enemy. With their comrade acting oh, as a human shield, the enemy will be reluctant to attack you. Move the left analog stick around to press your knife against the enemy and demand information. 
You'll be surprised at how much you can learn this hmm. way. But don't get too complacent. While your enemy may be powerless in your grip, he'll use any opportunity he can to counterattack. Okay. What about my book then? <laughs> you can only use CQC to grab any. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My book? I see you're wearing the leaf pattern camouflage. Yeah. The leaf pattern was developed to provide cover in forest environments. Yes. The U.S. military isn't the only one using it. Countries that anticipate operating in forest environments are developing various types of patterns, each suited to the vegetation of the particular region. Mm -hmm. The Soviets and the Eastern European countries all use their own unique patterns. Leaf pattern camo will give you an especially low profile in areas of yeah, it's vegetation. Just in. Yes, I'm going not lethal on bosses too. What is that you have in your hands? <laughs> Honestly, when did you start reading magazines like that? <laughs> Didn't I teach you how to take care of business without having to rely on that sort of thing? Hey, what? <laughs> anyway, I'm sure some of the enemy grunts will find that sort of magazine as appealing as you seem to. Place it on the ground, and you might be able to divert their attention. Interesting. All right. Moving on. Doxy, tier 351. Thank you, Fect. Eight months. Hey, you. Uh, Chris Draw, thank you, 61, man. I told you about banks at 25 billion. I'm 44 of ours, one year. Thank you. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, so that guy's just laying there still. That's crazy how strong that is. That guy's up and walking about. Hey, you. Go. Toli Novodno. Trangal, thanks for 29, brother. Thank you. Another victim. Oh, Jordy, yo. Thank you, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> that damn smile. I see the frog. There's two other guards coming over there. Do I have binoculars? I do. Wait, how do I zoom in? Uh, zoom in. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so good. Our nest. No, not the boss. The gun you're using is a test model of a suppressor-equipped pistol currently in development by the Navy that's been modified by the CIA into a tranquilizer gun. The suppressor-equipped pistol it's derived from is itself being developed for use by special forces oh, okay, based on the no M39. Then. The Mark 22. That's what they're going to call it if they decide to adopt it for official use. It uses a slide lock mechanism that will keep the firing sound down to a minimum. But I'll have to reload it by hand every time I fire, right? Right. You won't be able to fire multiple shots at once, so make every shot count. Aim for the enemy's vital spots. There's talk of designing the Mark 22 to accommodate special subsonic rounds, but for this mission, you'll be using nice specifically misery. designed tranquilizer rounds. In a way, these tranquilizer rounds are like miniature syringes. It's emulator. When one of them strikes a target, the impact causes a needle contained within to shoot out. At the same time, chemicals inside the round are mixed to create a gas, which pushes the plunger and injects the tranquilizer into the target. You can knock out an enemy immediately by shooting them in the head. 
But if you shoot them in the arm or leg, the tranquilizing agent will take some time to set in. Aim carefully. All right. But I wanted to call paramedic about the bee nest. See what she says. If I can eat it. I see you've got yourself a Baltic hornet's nest. Yeah. Baltic hornets are a variety of hornets that inhabit that area. They keep a company. The difference between them got and one. other hornets is that they produce honey in their nests. Inside the nests are larvae, pupa, and adults. You can eat them all. Oh. In particular, the honey you find inside the nest is delicious and full of nutrients. Good stuff, good stuff. It's easy to digest and helps pep you up when you're feeling tired. Okay. In short, it's the perfect survival food. Oh, wow. Honey can also be used as a burn ointment. When honey is applied to a burn, it creates a protective coating over the skin. When you knock down a hornet's nest, a burn ointment will appear along with it. So don't forget to pick it up. Okay, interesting. Of of course, the hornets aren't going to give up their nest without a fight. If you knock a nest down, a large swarm of hornets will come flying out. So be careful. Yep, that we know. I love th this. Shit's so interesting, dude. Love that stuff. Anything cool here? Can zoom in. A oh, triangle. Whoa! What the fuck? Up! Up! Oh! Jesus Christ! Oh shit, there, there's some dude here. Oh fuck, alright. Thought I was done with you? I don't think so. Oh, that guy's a boss. He's just standing there. That's good, though, because I can interrogate him now. Wait, so if I throw someone off a bridge, that doesn't count as lethal either? I saw someone say that. As long as I don't kill them with my own weapons, it's fine. Fuck, he's walking so fast. Oh my god, this bridge is so slippery, dude. Oh my god! Dude, is this supposed to be like this? That's crazy. Ah. Come here, I want to interrogate. I want to see what you have to say. Well, I hear a noise. Stun grenade. Wake up. Oh, actually, don't wake up yet. What? I'm trying to kill his radio. Okay, I guess not. Oh, fuck. I'm messing around too much, dude. This won't end well.
ass. Okay, I'm out. Fuck this. Uh. Wait, there's a path on on the on the stuff here. I see it. What the fuck? Freeze. Shake your ass. Come on. Oh yeah, you want some of this then? Don't shoot me, please. Yeah? Give me your stuff. That's what I thought. Get. What's down here? <clears throat> ah! Oh my god. Oh, that's a weapon crate? XM16E1. What is that? Oh, it's a rifle. Cool. Not going to be using that now, at least. Surprisingly good cavalry. Hey, you. Francis Kratos, 46, man. Thank you. Oh, that works. Double vision. That's good stuff. All right, I'm moving on. Enough messing around here. I got to eat something, though. Let's eat something and call her. Uh... I could eat a tree frog. Possibly edible. I'm eating it. Hey, you. Disgusting. Ugh. I see you found a Yabloko Maloko. What? Yablo, what now? Yabloko Maloko. It's a oh. Russian name that roughly translates as milk apple. Milk apple. It's a type of star apple. The juice is thick and sweet, like milk, hence the name. And if you cut one in half lengthwise, you'll see a star-shaped ring radiating out from the center. Hence the star apple. Right. Cool. The star-shaped part has a gelatinous texture and is said to be especially tasty. Sounds useful. You're welcome. For once. Did you say something? No, uh, back to the mission. <laughs> okay, but I ate the frog. Snake, that area should be inhabited by tree frogs. Oh. The tree frog is a green frog that's found throughout Asia. It's arboreal, spending most of its time in shrubs and bushes. Okay. But I ate a frog, though. To take a rest, all you have to do okay. is save and exit the game. Yeah. Let's, uh, save. Saving the game, Snake? I love the info about all this stuff here. Hey Snake, you ever heard of Godzilla King of Monsters? No, what is it? It's a movie. You haven't seen it? Nope. It's about this hey, monster you. called Godzilla, who grows to an enormous size in a nuclear test and goes on a rampage in Tokyo. Nuclear test, huh? Then the Marshall Islands must be crawling with giant monsters right about now. It's just make-believe. Maybe that's why my pants have been so tight lately. Snake, it's a movie, not a report out of Los Alamos. I know. So then what happened? Godzilla is immune to all weapons, and humanity has no way to stop the monster. Dr. Sirizawa develops a new type of weapon, 
But meanwhile, Godzilla is getting closer and closer to Tokyo, obliterating everything in its path. It was originally a Japanese movie, but they made an American version, too. I recommend seeing the original Japanese one if you ever get the chance. It's mostly mindless fun, but it's also got a serious anti-nuke message as well. Where can I see the original? You'll just have to go to Japan. Really? That's too bad. Just to go. And if you wait 40 years, you might be able to see it in America, too. Why is that? 2004 will be Godzilla's 50th birthday. You think they're still going to be making Godzilla movies then? Of course. Everybody loves Godzilla. You sure know a lot about movies. I don't suppose you're the movie-watching type, are you? Not really. Okay, then I'll tell you everything I know. When the going gets tough, movies can save your life. It's always good to be able to look at things from a different perspective when you get in a jam. That's the magic of movies. No kidding. Well, I guess it might at least make a nice distraction. That's the spirit, Snake. Have a little fun. <laughs> Love it. Oh, is it this now? Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. Throw a captured snake in Sokolov's room for Easter egg? I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. And do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Hmm. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Yeah, Rev. All right. This is a big one right here. Lot of guards. You don't have a radio on you? I love these like ambient sounds, dude. One guard in there, one guard walking here. <clears throat> What is that? 
Snake? Yeah, okay. Is that one of those poisonous snakes? Do I have those in my backpack? A reticule. Oh, wait. These are dead, though. You got to have them alive, I imagine. A paneer old snake. I was told this could work. Cut him in the arm and he can't call the radio? Yo, is that guy fine? What's wrong? Huh? What the fuck? HQ, please respond. Shit. Fuck. This is HQ. Fuck. Patrol here. We're being attacked. Enemy position unknown. Going into high alert. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Oh my god, listen to this music, dude. Wait, throw a snake through that window for Easter egg? Wait, stop climbing. I'm not climbing this. Birdie? I see you've caught yourself a Sunda whistling thrush. The Sunda Whistling Thrush is a bird native to Java and Sumatra. It's distinguished by its large blue body and long beak. It really stands out in the forest. Got it. So... How does it taste? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know? The guide doesn't say. I guess there's no reason you couldn't eat them. Oh, I see. But it's nice and plump, so I'm sure it would make a hearty meal. That's a good point. Ugh. <sighs> You. What's wrong? So many guards, dude. Oh, my God, there is. A million guards here, dude. Caution takes so long to disappear, too. Fuck 
see now. He heard the bird. Okay, we're fine. Nothing here. Uh, I was told I can actually push barrels and kill enemies that way too, and it doesn't count for lethal. Like, as long as you don't hurt people with your own weapons. Oh, yeah, you man? That's good, though. I like it. Uh. There's two guards here. One, th one there and one there. Do I have a live snake? Because then I'll throw it in here. Backpack. I don't think I have a live snake, though, dude. They're all just dead. I do. Right here. Yes. <gasps> okay. Nothing. I have to equip it again. Shit. It's on hard difficulty. Bird, too. I mean, there's only 18 seconds left for this caution now. And then I can easily just jump in. But I was told there's an Easter egg. If you throw a snake into his window. Uh, is that that the win is that the window where the ladder is? Or is it outside his door or something? Okay, at the ladder. I'm gonna wait for these guards to move now. Oh, the Splastic. Thanks for the Prime, dude. Thank this you. Is HQ. Patrol here. The situation is normal. Understood. Return to your position. How's the fall damage in this game? That's the question. Wait, I can edit. I have an, a really good idea. I, got, I have to try this. Lethal acts like a hitman, if I recall. Anything that can potentially be an accident won't count as a kill. It's a cool way to tie narrative into gameplay. Basically, if a kill is untrackable, to be done by an enemy, it doesn't count. Okay, okay. I have a really good idea here. And I want to try it. You're just gonna stay there? Brother? I wonder if he's going to see this without me knocking. I just want to see how this works. Come on. There you go. Let's see. 
Who's that? Wait, what? Oh, that's not good. Chill. Oh shit, they're all there. Fuck. Throwing a stun grenade is attempting. I have a mouse. What do they taste like? I see you caught yourself a rat. A rat. The rats in that area are the descendants of wild Norway rats that were domesticated by humans as pets and lab animals. They're not poisonous, and I don't think they'll attack you, but they're quick little creatures, so you might have a hard time catching one. Uh -huh. So how do they taste? Snake. What? They're rats. I know what they are. Do they taste okay? The guide says they're not that bad. Good enough for me. Ugh. Good enough for me. Yeah, the reason that guy saw me so easily was because my camouflage. It was like mine. It was like minus 20%. Fuck, I want to try this Easter egg, but I can't do it with caution. I legit can't try this Easter egg with caution on, I think. It's going to be so hard because there's too many guards running around. Yo, okay, no, thanks for the four, dude. I don't really know what to do here. What do I do? Just wait, I suppose, because I need. I want to try my. I want to try to kill. Oh, my cage is full. Okay, I'm gonna eat the bird and see what happens. That area is home to the reticulated python. The reticulated python is said to be the longest snake in the world. It's not venomous, but it's still yeah, Jenner is so threat, good. So watch out. All right, fair enough. Okay, so what I'm trying to do now is I, I want to throw a snake into his window for the um. For the Easter egg, but I can't do it with this caution. I guess I'll just wait. It's at 46 already. Anything else under here? Anything interesting? No? Oh, someone asked what my lights were. They're, uh... Philips Hue lights. I need to eat now. My stamina is fine. I'll, I'll just get some water while I wait for this. Up there. Not in a rush, Flava. I want to do these Easter eggs and stuff. It's fun. I don't care how long this playthrough will take. HQ, please respond. This is HQ. Patrol. Situation is normal. 
Understood. Return to your position. Good. Now I'm gonna switch. Well, when I get out of here. Hey, you. Is my book there? I think I can't. I don't think it is. Fuck. No. <laughs> Little flick of the wrist there. Yo, give me my book back, bitch. Oh wait, I can try this like this though. I'll just put his body in front of the barrel. Time to die. Wait, what? I thought... I thought that would... Oh, for fuck. This is HQ. <sighs> Come on, I thought that would... <sighs> Damn it! Oh! I don't want to be in this hole, dude. Bathroom break now. This caution is very fast, though, but... Okay, so that's an explosive barrel. I thought it killed people when it ran them over. So... I guess not. Fuck! All this for the Easter egg now. Well, now I know how the barrels work, at least. I wasn't aware before. What's wrong? I mean, the explosion would kill, but, um... I thought the barrel in itself killed people, so... But it doesn't, it's just the explosion. Yo, Mystic Cat, thanks to the Prime. What? Oh, for fu oh, they found the guy and it reset now. I do have grenades, yeah. Is that also an Easter egg? Dude, it's so dangerous to go out now, too, because I'll... I know there's a guy that's going to sit here, so... What up, Zaka? They're all on the left side. I could probably move into him now, but then I can't do the Easter egg, so. Like, I could move straight into the target now, but I want to see what this Easter egg is. Chat said it's good. There's another. Oh, fuck that. I saw this camera change! Man, it- I saw- I can- Oh, that is so sick. Can you just reset the area? Oh my god, the camera switched to the left, so I missed the hole. How do you really- I don't want to wait for this shit. Um... Death pill and restart. How oh, does that work? Um, let's see here. It's in the backpack. Hey, you. Sweet. Try it. Oh, that's a rival. 
Uh... <laughs> I was already equipped. Lel. Yeah, if you just wait here now, it kills you. Yeah, I was gonna crawl into the hole, but the camera switched to the left, so I missed the hole, and then I couldn't enter it. <laughs> Alright, New Yabla, I'm sick of this shit. Everyone's gonna die! <gasps> Oops. The enemy is close by! What's wrong? What's going on? Respond! There's something wrong. Support unit, confirm their status. It's nothing wrong, dude. They're good. They're fine. Don't you worry about it, right? Where's that support unit coming from, anyways? Oh, I hear them. Spaghetti. I wish I could be a box here. <laughs> Everything seems in order. Yeah, they just randomly fell asleep. Don't mind me. Oh, there's another barrel here. But now I know how they work. What is that? S oh, that's a silencer for the rifle. Where you at? What's wrong? Oh shit. Oh. Yeah, it's emulator, PS2. Here, dudes, man. I don't know where they are. There's one guy. And then there's one guy up here. Okay. Hey, you. Hey, you. <gasps> What's wrong? Freeze! Yeah. <laughs> Speak! Grenade! What? Speak! Fuck, that window is on the other side. Is the Easter egg really worth it? I could just open the door now. Oh. Oh, it just triggers here.
you must be Sokolov. Are you one of Vulcan's men? You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other Miss side of the Elven Iron Curtain. Easter egg. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. <laughs> Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. Hmm. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Oh Colonel yeah, don't Vulcan you have to do this now? Blue. Shit. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. Hmm. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process so it would seem. Vulcan will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Easy. Game over, Roger. dude. What about the sentries? I managed to get past them. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there.
he doing? So this is the legendary boss. Huh? <laughs> huh? We meet at last. You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh? What's a Gru soldier doing here? Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. <laughs> How old is he? Don't you forget it. Ocelot. Like 20 so something? Is ours. Okay. How old is he here. later? An Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? Metal Gear Solid 1 is like 60, okay. So yeah, th this is also a lot from Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2. For people who didn't get it. <laughs> Revolver also a lot. Hmm. Very young here. But ruthless. Damn. I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. Ha! 
Testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! <laughs> 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 But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. <sighs> Oh yeah, you can kill Ocelot here for an easter egg, yeah. <laughs> so much gun porn in this game, dude. <laughs> Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, you alright? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't know. Like again. It. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. Right, so you can kill him here for an Easter egg. Since obviously he's not supposed to die here. Do you want to save? I do want to save. Snake, do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? Nope, never heard of it. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon called the Black Lagoon, and they get picked off one after the other by this fishman thing. And there was this scene when the heroine is going for a swim and the creature sneaks up on her from underwater. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. I mean, of course, the 3D effects in It Came From Outer Space were a lot more intense, but... It wouldn't be referring to you coming from outer space, would it? How rude! Why do you say that? Because no one on Earth could be as charming as you. <sighs> Fine. I'll just get to the point, Snake. Be careful of what's around you when you're in the water. Just imagining you swimming in those jungle rivers makes me think of you being attacked by a fishman. I appreciate the concern. Fishmen aren't the only things that'll attack you in the water. Really be careful out there. Okay. And don't be attacking any pretty girls going for a swim, either. Are you calling me a fishman? <laughs> you started it. Yep. Right. So I saved... Let's see what happens when we do this. I mean, we can just do this instead. A bit more uh, humane, I guess. I'm going to do four also, yeah. Why can't I shoot? I'm not quite sure why. Uh... 
Oh, he's still alive? Oh, for fuck's sake. Just die. Ocelot is dead. Snake, you can't do that. The future will change. You'll create a time paradox. <laughs> You'll create a time paradox. <laughs> yeah, it's Colonel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, uh, moving on. Man, this section always takes so long to do. Where did he go? Nah, luck. I don't think so. Yo, Boo said 96 mon months, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Hey, you. Squid kick, no. Where did he run, anyways? Hey, you. Oh, I can't use that then. Flash forward. You okay? Those men were from the Ocelot unit, Spetsnaz. Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished. Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Wait, is this that scene? Look. Oh shit. Oh, I cringe during this scene, dude. That's what they were making you build. Yes, the, the Shagahod. The treading behemoth. A tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain? Oh yes. And without support from friendly units. A nuclear equipped tank capable of operating solo. Is that thing finished? No, this is only the end of phase one. It won't be truly finished until we complete phase two. Phase two? The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. A world war. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please, take me to America, quickly. They cannot complete it without my help. Got it. Let's go. Game's over. Target is acquired. Time for extraction. Good work, Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov. 
comes with me. My friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Welcome back, boss. Now that all five of us are together, it's time we go to the depths of hell itself. It's raining blood. Is he crying? Kuabara. Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogan. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. What is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. Oh, fuck. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? I always think that scene is so you nasty. See my face. We can't let him live. If Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. He must die. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. <clears throat> Jack, you can't come with us. The new 
blood has been rejected. Are we done here? Now, onto Sokolov's research facility. Shagohad is ours. Drift away. My place is with them now. Poor snake. Snake, can you hear me? Yeah, just barely. Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic? Okay, Snake. Just relax and it'll all be over before you know it. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. First, First open a survival this, yeah. viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Your injuries include a fractured left elbow and rib bone and lacerations on your upper arms, right elbow and abdomen. They need to be fixed using surgical treatment. Move the healing cursor with the left analog stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon window button and use the left analog stick to select the medical item and then press the inner button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. To treat a bone fracture, first secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap it in bandages. That should do it. For lacerations, you'll need disinfectant to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, styptic to slow the flow of blood, and bandages to wrap the wound. If you do everything I mentioned, the wound should heal completely. Understood? Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. Yes. Snake's just laying there, dude. Fuck. The pain, dude. The pain. Here we go. You can see all the injuries here. A cut. A cut. A cut. Broken bone. Broken bone. And a cut. That's rough, dude. So we have serum, treating venom and poisoning, effective at treating stomach aches, treating colds, antidotes for poisoning. Okay. And then we have knife here, removing bullets and arrows. Okay, we have a suture kit. I don't think we have any alcohol. Oh, we have this, in fact. Yeah, we do. Uh, treating cuts and gunshot wounds. Let's use that and then let's stitch it up. Uh, what else did I do here? I don't even know. Bandage? Treating burns, cuts. Okay. Splint. Helping broken bones. What is styptic? Treating cuts and gunshot wounds. Okay. There we go. Cool. Uh-uh. Bleeding. No bandage applied. Not yet disinfected. Disinfect. Do some bandages. Do 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 do
Broken bone. Gotta put a splint on that bad boy. And then I think we bandage, right? No bandage applied, yeah. There we go. Broken bone again. Splint and bandage. And a cut. Disinfect. Toucher, bandage, and sip. Cool. There's an Easter egg here, I think. If you hold R1 and look, you can see the sorrow, right? Aw, oh, fuck. Shit like this is so interesting, but man. Oh yeah, you can see the sorrow's body is what it is, yeah. Yeah, there it is right there under my camera. <laughs> Good job, Snake. We're coming to get you now. Just stay where you are. We'll drop a recovery balloon. Can you set it up? Here. There it is. body is that one of the supernatural people that we saw. It's called the sorrow Boss, dude. What a character. This game is so fucking good. Uh, this is regular PS2 version, actually. The HD version lacks quite a lot on emulator. Especially in a very important section where you really don't want it to lag, so. <laughs> Excellent. A great success. Thanks to the boss and her cobras, I have both Sokolov and the Shagohod. What are we going to do with the girl? Who is she? Apparently she's Sokolov's woman. <laughs> she's a nice catch. I'll take her. Yo, to play. Not so fast, my dear. A kiss of death. Are you KGB. We may be able to use her.
Shall we take her back to the base? Perhaps we should. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy what? a try. Colonel, even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. It'll be our friend, the American defector. You're going to nuke your fellow Russians? <laughs> Remember the Alamo. Colonel! Is it time now? Yo, Shiali, thanks for hey, the you. bits, dude. Thank you. Yo, Drezak, 49, Crydon. Thanks for the 54, Smurring Ramey's 11. Hey, Lost you. Gun, thanks for 7. It's time now? Yeah, I gotta go bathroom before this, though. Uh, if and you know, thanks for the 18, hey, you. Yoncho. Thanks for the Prime, dude. Street Gnoblim, two months, man. Thank you, quote me if I rule. Thanks, six, dude. Thank you, Vlad the Sheep. Hey, seven. you. Mac, thanks for the six. Pronix, three years, dude. Uh, yeah, happens. Yo, thank you, man. Thank hey, you. you. All right, Blah Vlad, heavy grunt. Thank you, guys. Uh, Quinter, you gave Dim Bryman a sub. Thank you. I'm Grandfather, six months of Tato. Thanks for 27, brother. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Mr. P, thanks for 30. Mr. Cat, thanks for the prime. Uh, Canyon, thank you. Okino. Another victim. Splastic, fine skill, Darthius. Ubi, Quidos, Francis Kratos, and the... Uh, hey, you. Oh, I think I caught up. I did. I'm going to go bathroom real fast, and then it's time, dude. Iconic. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. Alrighty then. To a great 22. LR bless with curry ham and lots of cheesy layup. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. Master? Okay. Save. Yes. All right, here we go, dude. Uh, all these save files are from the emulator. It's not like my save files. It just came with the emulator. Oh. Silence through the night. What a thrill! I'm 
What a intro, dude. Two hours in. Two and a half hours. I mean, it plays when he launches the game. When he launches the game, too. Currently flying over the Arctic Ocean. Altitude 30,000 feet. Approaching Soviet airspace. Arriving at the That song is made for the game, yeah. Point. Drone oil pressure and voltage are nominal. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload any three systems shows no problems. No gusts. All systems go for drone detachment. Snake, we can't risk a halo jump this time around. Airspace security has gotten tighter since R1. we were last here. We can't get as close to the ground as we did during the virtual Easter egg. So instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. If you fail, you'll be back in a hospital bed again, waiting for the firing squad. So how does it feel to be a patient in one of the most advanced ICUs in the world? Would you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. What happened in the jungle? Must be well, the, the boss betrayed him. More like an interrogation. According to them, I'm a traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. Mm. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Does that mean they're after you too? Mm. Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Does this mean Fox is going to die? No. This Fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today, Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. We still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuba. This morning, I had a meeting with the CIA. They decided when they're going to execute us? No. Something even bigger. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. 
It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKB-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard that. The man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? Of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. In Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. Voyevoda. You mean the boss? The mother of your special forces? Yes, that's the one. Imagine having that nickname. And she took two boss. miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells. I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. But serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass-produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, the box, with Colonel Volgan's help, stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top-secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in a violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. The army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once and I'll say it again, our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Then you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes, preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volkin is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have only one week. And if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volkin as well. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. It means nothing. 
call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. What if we can't prove our innocence? Then I will be unable to restrain the military. I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? I leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal? If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. To put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. Hi. <laughs> All these people... Are the Russians going to be helping us? Oh. The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites. <laughs> you and I can talk to each other. <laughs> That's it? They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. Insiders? There was a defection in September 1960. Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA codebreakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB in exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I have played this game before, y'all give told that Adam is not my first playthrough. We've also arranged for him to provide you with an escape route. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. Unidentified aircraft detected, altitude 30,000 feet. It's fast. Estimated airspeed exceeding Mach 3. Bearing south. I'm about to lose it. Like on cutscenes when they do flashbacks like that, I'm free to look at chat. I'm not. I can still listen to what they're saying. Cutscenes like this though is more action. This is Snake. Do you read me? Hmm. Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake. Let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Eliminate find out what's happened to the Shagahod, then destroy it. And finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss. This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Because I'll be taking on the boss in her Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What do you mean? 
Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. I oh, must have missed that one. Anyway, it's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. I get it. You used the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But? But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky tunnels. It was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Hmm. You know, let's just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. All right, then. Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency is 140.85. Oh, I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this Yay. mission. Is this her last chance, too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Her frequency is the same as during the Virtuous mission, 145.73. She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. That frequency is also the same, 140.96. And there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment technology. You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I oh. see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. No one else would dare come close. The password is Who are the Patriots? And Lali Lulelo. Lali Lulelo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. Yeah. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent. Hey, Arigato. I haven't really done too much yet, though. <laughs> at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. Hey. <laughs> I was gonna say, the, all these people commenting about cutscene length, this is nothing compared to Metal Gear Solid 4. <laughs> that whole game is just a movie, dude. <laughs> How long is the final cutscene? It's like over an hour long or something? 71 minutes. 71 minutes, yeah. A frog! Yo, uh, Dark, I think 17 hey, years. DK Cloud sub. Thank you, Sir Tony. I think it's a four. Yo, I'm glad you still like it, dude. I'll see if I can call a uh, paramedic. Hey, you. Say. Paramedic. Snake, it's so good to hear from you again. Same here. It's been a week, hasn't it? Four days, actually. Huh? I visited you in the hospital. You were still unconscious, though. Hmm. Ah, then you must have seen me naked. Yeah, but you were all wrapped up in bandages and tubes, so I couldn't do anything but look. Better luck next time. Mm, let's hope so. Ooh. But seriously... Don't forget that you were like that until just yesterday. In fact, you really shouldn't even be on this mission. 
Keep an eye on your stamina gauge. If you start to run low, don't push yourself. Eat something to replenish your stamina. And try not to get yourself hurt. If you're wounded or get bitten by a venomous animal, go into the survival viewer immediately and treat yourself using cure. Yeah, yeah. I can see you still know how to nag. <laughs> you're welcome. And I can see you still don't know when to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Maybe so. By the way, I heard you're going to lose your medical license if this mission fails. Yes, there was talk of that, but the mission won't fail, will it? Of course not. Good. I believe in you. But you know what? I really don't care about my medical license. Didn't they use that to force you to participate in this operation? No, I volunteered. Why? So that I could watch over you. Huh. Snake, you're the best agent I've ever seen. But you push yourself too hard. You're reckless. Someone has to stop you from getting into trouble to make sure you and the boss don't kill each other. <laughs> so that's why I volunteered. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better guardian angel than me, right? Thanks. Stop right there. Huh? You can thank me when you get back. All right. She's good. Yo, Celeste, thank you. Essential coffee, yeah. thank you. Ella, I was AWOL on Twitch for about a year, was diagnosed with PTSD, and had long history of trauma, depression and anxiety. Thanks for your mental support with I hope all well with your message now we are better. Back to witness the legend of Ella Jazz. Hey, you. Thank you, Vesmo, dude. I'm glad you feel better, dude. Oh, that's a stick. Thank you, man. Thank you. The hack, thanks to the hey, Lemons, you. Sir Tony, thanks for Furious E, thank you again. Planes and Fapioca, thank you. This is the frog I ate before, I guess. Hey, Wait, you. Wait, there's something up here. Oh, is this coconut? Hey, you. What did she say about this? Snake, unlike the virtuous oh, okay, mission, this I is guess a light operation. It. You'll be encountering nocturnal animals that you didn't encounter your last mission. Oh, yeah, true. Some of them are venomous, like the king cobra, so uh, be careful. If you get bitten by a venomous animal, I want to throw one on a guard. Your body and rapidly drain your life gauge. If that's the case, go into the cure screen and survival viewer immediately and inject yourself with serum. Got it? All right, cool. Call Siggins. Oh, yeah, right. Wait, that's the DARPA chief? Yo, you're Snake, aren't you? And you're Sigint? <laughs> None other. I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Close. Huh? I am the expert on weapons, equipment, <laughs> and cutting-edge technology. Uh. I'm the guy that designed your trank gun, active sonar, and motion detector. If you want to know anything about weapons or equipment you find in the field, just send me a message and ask. Later. Later. Sigint is Donald Anderson, also known as DARPA Chief, one of the founding members of Fox Unit. Oh, really? Interesting. Dinero. Memes plus banner pizza plus speedruns plus hentai EI plus Pablo Souls plus L R Libida plus Great Demotes plus Gamba Chad equals the marvelous legend of Ella Jazz. Right. Hey, you. Thank you, Vesmo. Hey, you. Hey, you. Nice. Give me a cobra. This is our snake. I want to get a cobra to throw at an enemy. What about these butterflies? Butterfly, come here. Oh, I saw a bird landing over there. Is that a rare bird? I see you. Wait, what is that? It's like a fuck. What is that? That's some weird shit right there. A squirrel. Oh. <laughs> what does he taste like? Ah, oh, fuck. Sounds like the Cobra Unit's members' names came from the specific emotions they each carry into battle. I'm not killing them, emotions. I'm uh, tranking them. Yeah. For unbearable torment, the pain. 
For true oblivion, the end. For infinite rage, the fury. For absolute terror, the fear. And for unsurpassed bliss, the joy. The joy? It's another name for the boss, because of the joy she feels in battle, I suppose. Ah. During the war, she had a partner named the Sorrow. Sorrow and Joy. They say there couldn't have been a more perfect pair. Hey, you. Tell me how the squirrel tastes. I see you caught an otten frog. Oh, I did that too, yeah. The otten frog is a large, corpulent species of frog. Uh -huh. They're known as a delicacy, so it might be worth catching them for food. Oh, okay. The otten frog was originally found only on Amami Oshima in Japan. Frogs usually have four toes on their front legs, but the otten frog is unique in that it has five. Oh, got it. By the way, you said they were known as a delicacy, right? Right. So that means they must taste pretty good, huh? I guess so. I hear that in Japan, otten frog sashimi and sukiyaki are popular dishes. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. Japan, huh? That place is starting to sound better and better. <laughs> what about the squirrel, then? I see you caught yourself a Japanese flying squirrel. Japanese flying squirrels are non-venomous, and they shouldn't attack you. The head, front legs, hind legs, and tail of the Japanese flying squirrel are connected by a membrane of skin, which allows the squirrel to glide from tree to tree. It says here that if it catches a good wind, it can fly more than a hundred yards. Yeah, I had a hard time catching one. So, aren't you going to ask me? You know it. How does it taste? <laughs> Not sure. Not sure. The guy doesn't say anything about it. Why not? Gee, maybe it's because no one would ever think of eating a flying squirrel. Then I must be the first one. <laughs> maybe you are. <laughs> oh, I love this. <laughs> There's something else here. There's a snake. Oh, yeah, I wanted to, like... Okay, I guess you can't get the butterflies. No, this is my pretty much, I guess my second time playing it. Take off clothes and call Sagan as a thing. <laughs> okay, I can try that. What a beast. The Davy Crockett's that the boss took with her when she defected are okay. mortars that fire nuclear warheads. They're named after Davy Crockett, the hero who died defending the Alamo in the Texan War of Independence. Remember the Alamo. That's right. The warheads are equivalent to between 10 and 20 tons of TNT. Every building within 150 yards of the hypocenter is completely obliterated. But the warheads the boss had with her were some kind of experimental super bomb. So they're actually even more powerful than that. I don't even want to think about what would happen if she used it again. Snake, you know what you have to do. Yeah. I know. I just finished Sons of Liberty Spectre. A few days ago. Hey, you've got an M1911A1. Yeah, a 45. 50 years since the army adopted the first model and they're still using them. It's a real gem of an automatic pistol. But aren't you going to need more than just one little handgun? Not at all. When you're in a tight spot or fighting in close quarters, sometimes a handgun works better than a rifle. And if I equip a knife at the same time, I can instantaneously switch over to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. I see. Mm-hmm. Snake, what's up? Why are you naked? I know there's a naked option under uniform that lets you take off the upper part of your uniform, but without a shirt on, your camouflage sucks and your stamina goes down faster. Uh -huh. You don't get any advantages whatsoever. Sure there are. Like what? It feels good. Man, you do whatever you want. <laughs> I will, thanks. Just one question, though. What? Is there a way to take off my pants? <laughs> Say what? My <laughs> pants, can I? Oh, hell no! This fox unit is a nut fest. 
<laughs> oh lord, this is amazing. <laughs> Jesus. The way Snake laughs after it. Oh yeah, this is a lethal gun, isn't it? Shit. Is this a new snake? R snake F. I see you caught yourself a green tree python. The green tree python isn't venomous, so no need to worry. It's fairly docile okay. too, so I don't think it's likely to attack you. The green tree python originally comes from Australia and New Zealand. It's a really pretty green color and it lives... Oh my God. What's wrong? Snake. What did I just say? They come from Australia and New Zealand. No, after that. They're a really pretty green color. I thought so. What was I thinking? Seeing a snake and calling it pretty? What's wrong with that? Everything. When a normal woman sees a snake, she's supposed to scream or get sick or something like that. And do you think you're normal? What was that? <laughs> Nothing. Ugh, oh, it's all your fault. Jeez, I'm sorry, but enough of that. What do you mean, enough of that? This is serious. No, I I just wanted you to tell me how it tastes. How should I know? <laughs> it was awfully pretty, though. Oh, there's so much love put into it, man. Ah. <sighs> No, still coming, Flea Live. Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. Boss. That arm still hurt? What are you doing here? sons are waiting up ahead. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. Boss! I'm not your boss anymore. Her suit's fucking sick. There's nothing for you here. <sighs> Go home. Go back to your boss. Patriot. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America. Stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. Huh. The border is 60 miles south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. Why'd you defect? 
I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. If we meet again, I'll kill you. Now, go home. This is Snake, Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are gonna come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's gotta be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians, that she'd double-cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. Oof. I can't even freeze people anymore. Rev out, thanks to 20 man. Squirrel was taken. Stop hitting my friends. Thanks to the 54. Thank you. Yeah, they're going to appear here now. Um, Came from there. What's over here? What do I have? I have an AP sensor. Vibrous when detecting life forms. Consumes battery. Oh, cool. What does cigar do? Highly addictive and hazardous to your health. I guess it helps you aim. The shakes. What the hell is this? Oh, they're over there. Yeah, they're see they're seeing the stuff. This is HQ. Oh yeah, it removes leeches you can do with it. True. Where am I now? Oh yeah, I don't know if my arm, I don't think my hand is fucked up. No, we're good. We gotta find the gun, dude. I have nothing to defend myself with, except CQC. There's gators here. Wait, am I back here then? I think I am, yeah. Oh, there's not going to be any enemies here. There's a beehive there. Uh... Okay, I can go there. I don't know if I'm going backwards now. Oh, shit. Oh, that scared the fuck out of me. Am I hurt? No, I'm not. Yeah, this is that area. It is. It is. It is. But maybe there's an item if I go back here. Oh, fuck. I 
I think the game like starts over here, doesn't it? Dremuchi South. Yo, Phantasm. Hey, She's you. so cool. She is. I love the boss. That's a great character. That's good. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm back here now, but it's nighttime, so there might be different animals. And I can get medicine. Medicine. Another victim. Good stuff. Oh, shit, Vesmo. Yo, thank you, man. Thank you, dude. Oh, fuck. What? There's a goat here. And a rabbit. I want to eat him, but I have no gun. I have a I have a knife. Grenade. I have a grenade. Little rabbit. There's a fucking say ah. Is that a cobra? What is that? That's a cobra! Ah! Yo, I'm sorry, goat. I gotta kill you. I wanna see what you taste like. Aha! What is this? I see you caught a Markor. Markor. The Markor is a kind of wild goat that lives in mountainous areas. Uh -huh. It's quite large, so I don't think you'll be able to capture one alive, even with the tranquilizer gun. Don't even have one. All right. Speaking of which, do you know the origin of the name Markor? No. It means snake eater in Persian. Wait, what? Snake eater. Really? Lost your appetite? Not at all. So, how does it taste? It's supposed to be pretty good. All right. <laughs> all right, I gotta kill the rabbit too. I love all these facts about the the animals. It's so interesting. Come here, little rabbit. It'll all be fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see you've caught a European rabbit. The European rabbit is said to have come from the Mediterranean region originally. But nowadays, they're found all over the world. They've been used since ancient times as a source of food, so it might be worth catching them. Uh -huh. Rabbits are known to eat their own excrement. Uh, they eat their own? That's right. It's called cecal feces. When the rabbit eats fiber, the fiber is fermented in the rabbit's appendix, or cecum, and turned into a nutritious substance full of vitamins. The rabbit excretes the substance and then eats it again to absorb the nutrients. <laughs> That's a neat trick. I think I'll give it a try. Snake, <laughs> rabbits and humans don't work the- I'm just kidding. You really thought I was going to eat it? A little, yeah. Even I wouldn't do that. I guess not. But how did those seagull feces taste? What? I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> hey, How you... can you not love this game, dude? Oh. All right, what is this? You cobra? You're definitely something, an R snake. I think we've already had this. I see you got oh, no. King Cobra. It is a King Cobra. Hey, you. The King Cobra is the world's largest venomous snake. Its large size means that it has a lot of venom to inject. One bite is supposedly enough to kill an elephant. And it's extremely vicious as well, so watch out. If you get bitten by a King Cobra and injected with venom, your hey, life you. will start to decrease rapidly. Oh. As soon as you're bitten, go into the survival viewer and use cure to give yourself a serum injection. Mm. The King Cobra's diet consists mostly of other snakes. Be careful, or you might end up as its next meal. Got it. So... What? How does it taste? Yep. Ugh. It seems you're the one whose diet consists of other snakes. You're making me blush. The guide says they taste just fine. Mm. 
There's just so much info and like character building and oh, it's so good. I want to tranquilize one of those and throw at an enemy. Apparently, like that doesn't count as lethal, so. I haven't seen a new Resident Evil movie, no. Oh. Is that a different type of frog? Let's call and see if it is. Snake, unlike okay. the virtuous mission, this is a night operation. You'll be encountering nocturnal bad? animals that you didn't encounter your last mission. Some of them are venomous, like the King Cobra, so be careful. If you get bitten by a venomous animal, the poison will spread through your body and rapidly drain your life gauge. If that's the case, go into the cure screen in Survival Viewer immediately and inject yourself with serum. Got it? Yo, Drant or 80 goddamn months, my man. Thank you. And Churney, 21. And Demo, 61. Thank you. I gotta eat something. My stamina is a li little lower. Food. Said to be edible. Let's eat a mushroom. Sick. I get food poisoning? No? Oh, there's a different mushroom here, though. Can you tell me about this mushroom? I see you found hey, some you. Russian oyster mushrooms. The Russian oyster mushroom is an edible variety that belongs to the Shimeji family. It's known to be particularly rich in vitamin B1 and niacin. Apparently, it's usually found growing on tree stumps and hollow logs. So look there if you want to eat some. Wait, the more you eat of the same thing, the more he likes it? Really? I see the frog up there. No, it's pretty much my second time streaming this, I guess. Like, I played it as a kid. But I don't remember shit. But it's my second time streaming it. Chaff. Oh, that's really good. I like them chaff. Food full? Okay, I'm gonna try eating some stuff. Let's eat... Not eaten yet, said to be fairly tasty. Let's eat the frog, fuck it. That, that frog's a beast, dude. Pretty tasty. Ah, alright. Sweet. What about the Markor? This works. Yeah. Nice. I try eating the cobra. Oh shit. Protein. Hey, this works. Really? Tasted bad. The tree frog tastes bad. Yeah, you can spin snake in the cure screen to make him puke. Yeah, I remember that. Alright, we got some cool shit here though. I like it. Gross 84. Yeah, man. Yo, thank you, dude. Well, you can call Sigint about the rotating bullets? Really? Ah, you're using the survival knife. Yeah, this thing provides me with all the bare essentials I need to survive in the field. Hey, wait. What'd you do with the knife I made you? That was a work of art. It had matches and fish hooks and thread and stuff in the grip. Sorry to have to tell you this, but that thing is useless in a fight. No way. Really? Yeah, when the grip is hollowed out like that, there's not as much space to stabilize the blade. So the joint between the blade and the grip is weaker. That makes it easier to break. I get it. You're right. With hey, your knife, you. you don't have to worry about it breaking no matter how much you swing it around. So the important thing is durability. 
Man, I gotta write this stuff down. Next time, I'll make it so the matches and fish hooks go in the sheath instead. <sighs> I wanna know about the bullets on the Patriot. You're wearing the tiger stripe pattern camouflage, huh? Tiger stripe is a forest camouflage. As you may have guessed by the name, it mimics the stripe pattern on a tiger's coat. It was originally worn by South Vietnamese Marines. Then it caught the attention of an American military advisor, and now they're thinking of introducing it into all kinds of special yeah, forces. Yeah, maybe I was too late on it. It works best in places with lots of trees and grass, but it should blend in with dirt and mud, too. Okay. So, you're wearing woodland right. face paint. The woodland paint is most effective in forest environments. It'll work best if you use it when infiltrating forest areas. One more. Pattern clothing, face paint, okay. tactical well, I movements. probably missed my chance. These are the elements them. of camouflage that will allow you to deceive your enemy. Mm -hmm. To camouflage yourself, first press the stop. Oh, no, this stuff. We're good. Yo, I crew guy. Thanks to 20 man. Thank you. There's a, another snake here. Don't need that. All right, moving on. We got to go back to that base where we're in. The thing is, I have no... I don't have any... Um, the tranquilizer gun now, which is rough. I give my life not for honor, but for you. I want to get the, the honey, though, but they're going to fuck me up. Oh my god, there's two of them here. Ah! 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 Wait, hey, give me the honey. You. Thank you. Ah, fuck. Do I have any, uh, like, swolling or something now? No? Yeah, you can throw grenades inside Yawning Crocodile's mouth. I saw that. Oh, Cigar drives off the bees? Sick. Like, the spinning ammo in the Patriot actually comes from an urban legend in Vietnam when Nato was introduced. It tilts in the body, which makes it do more damage, but people misinterpreted it as the bullet spinning around in air. Oh. Any enemies here? Maybe I can call about it here. Now that I'm here. Let's see. Covering your body is a good start. Okay. But a bare face will kill even the best camouflage. No, I don't even see. If the situation calls for a high camo index, you better bring... Oh shit, there is dudes here. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was scared of. Fuck. Okay. Come and check it out. I must be seeing things. Got to be more than one guy here. Hey, you. It's got to be one to my right also. Yeah, right there.
don't speak. At night, poisonous animals will... Will... <clears throat> speak. In the south, the bottom of swamp. Let's see. Uh, when you choke them, it actually shows when they're standing up now, right? So you, there's no chance you'll break their neck. Yeah, like that. Yeah. I have no plans on Metal Gear 5. 4, though. Two guys. That's it. I can fuck with that. So if I throw someone off a cliff, it doesn't count as a kill? Guys, who know alert cancellation frequencies. Wait, what? Alert cancellation frequencies? <laughs> really? Speak. Bastard. That is interesting. Yeah, I was told if you cut their arms when they're out, they can't call back up later. I don't know if that's true, though. Yeah, you can shoot the radio, but I have no gun. Hey, you! Can't vault this. Huh? <laughs> Speak! Listening to the radio can be relaxing. How am I still on evasion when he- oh, there we go, yeah. Does that actually count as an alert? I'm not sure it does, but maybe it does. I don't know. Oh, there is stuff down there. Oh, it does count as an alert? Okay. Hey, you. Because in Metal Gear Solid 2, they have to, like, call in the thing. Uniform raindrop? Really? Nice. It's on hard difficulty. Oh, thanks. Rackinov, you sent me a gift, I see. Gildan, thanks for the 30 months, my man. Shiny kneecap 17. Yeah, dude. Archie, thanks for the three. Thank you. Oh, this area without a gun. It's dark though, so that that's to my advantage. 
I am Mo, yeah. I went for a run today. Felt good, actually. My coughing is way better after I went for my run. So good. I heard something. Happy 2022, Giggles. Don't actually... Oh, the frog is under there. Yeah, to play. It felt so good to just go for a run. Oh, what is this? An AK-47. I lost. K okay, coming at W. I don't think there's any enemy here, actually. Hey, you. No enemy? Oh! Can I call Sigin when I'm in the box? Can't remove revival pill. I remove that. There we go. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's in your tooth, right? Yeah. Uh, snake. What are you doing? I'm in a box. A cardboard box? Why are you? I don't know. I was just looking at it and. Suddenly, I got this irresistible urge to get inside. No, not just an urge. More than that. It was my destiny to be here. In the box. Destiny? Yeah. And then, when I put it on, I suddenly got this feeling of inner peace. I can't put it into words. I feel safe. Like this is where I was meant to be. Like I'd found the key to true happiness. Uh huh. Does any of that make sense? Not even a little. You should come inside the box. Then you'll know what I mean. <laughs> Man, I don't want to know what you mean. Between you and paramedic, is everyone but me that is hooked up with a major strange? <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, well, anyway, I suppose even that dumbass box might make a decent disguise if you wear it inside a building. The box is very good. It is. It's very strong. Oh, thermal goggles. Nice. Oh, that's really good, because then I can see animals and stuff. <laughs> Aha. That's really good. It's helpful. Can I open this? Wait, what? Let's get a cup. Oh. All right. Oh. Sorry, I'm late. Cut the engine. They'll hear us. Are you the agent they sent? Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. All right, say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? 
Answer me. I love that little thing, uh, reload on that gun. It's so satisfying. I think it's in Resident Evil 4 when you reload and then Leon like flicks it away and it's so satisfying. Mouser. I can R1. The name's Eva. This wasn't part of the plan. What happened to Adam? What's your code name? Snake. Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? What happened to Adam? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. I heard you used to be a codebreaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Mauser military. The broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American-made. Forty-five, huh? <laughs> Incredible. Do you like it? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced. And the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original, too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non-slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. <sighs> Amazing. Where'd you get something like this? I grabbed it from a Western munitions armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. Such a gun nerd. You had this with you, didn't you? Oh. Better take this too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe, then? Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohod. Where? At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. 
Why is she showing her tits like that? First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. Knowing Kojima you'll is probably to, to keep used for snakes like materials. spirits high or something. Pass the heliport and continue north and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. Okay. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. He's such a nerd, dude. Right. Let's get going. Wait a minute. Uh, what now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect <laughs> something. <clears throat> Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information. Nothing more. <sighs> I am pressing R1 pretty much all the time you to see if there's any hidden stuff. All right, then. I'll do something special for you. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. I mean, he just got betrayed by the boss, so... Can't blame him, dude. Gonna get that? She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think the lines up there is the emulator. I can remove it. Just like that. I'm doing a PS2 emulator because the HD collection has some pretty bad frame rate drops in this. Wow. Oh shit. Uh. Uh. What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. We've got company. It's the Ocelot unit. You thirsty mother. Let's get out of here. Hurry. <laughs> Don't forget your gear. Here, give me a hand. Oh, 
I love those kiddicks. Yeah, if you press R1, in certain cutscenes, you can see through Snake's eyes. It's like a little secret. It shows top right where you can press it, but some are hidden too, I think. Damn it. I've so lot. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. Huh? I'm doing non-lethal. Yeah, I am. Don't go dying on me now. I'm going to kill some people with animals, though, because that doesn't count, apparently. Like, if you throw a poisonous snake at someone, it doesn't count as you killing them. The big knee. Wait, I don't actually have the fucking... Or, no, she did give me the other gun. I'm pretty damn sure she did. Uh, weapon... Another one. Wait, which is equipped? Okay, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Uh, stun grenade. I have that. Smoke grenade. How good is that? Hmm. Shit. Nine enemies. If on harder difficulties, is there more enemies then? Okay, I don't have any tranquilizers. Move. There is? Okay. gonna fall asleep eventually it's not here what not here did he get away hunt him down Move! love being under this building all above me there's none here should be fine if i crawl out here Oh, my frame's here. Emulator's dying. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Wait, did he die? He died! <laughs> oh, you weak little bitch. Can you see stats somewhere to see like if you actually if it counted as a kill? <laughs> I don't know if it counts. Yeah, sometimes like some people say it doesn't count as a kill if gravity kills them. Some people said that. So, I don't know if I don't know how true that is though. It's the same thing if I were to push this barrel and it explodes on someone. It doesn't count as a kill either. So I'm not sure, but... I mean, I could just reset too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> I think false-based kills doesn't count as kills like in tanker. You can throw enemies into the sea. It doesn't... Oh, it really doesn't count? Yeah, I, I can just do this though. I mean, it's not like I'm far. Because I, I want to stay non-lethal. Hey, you. Lipida, welcome to Crow's new grad. 
47 libido welcome to grows near grad 47 libido oh, that's not gonna happen to again grad. 47 libido welcome to grows near grad i didn't know there was the, i didn't know there was a guy up there now i do though so that's not gonna happen again is this okay i gotta redo this again we're fine we're fine we're good we're good now i want to get the chaff grenade there too nice And this should be non-lethal, yep. Let's go. Alright, I know where they are now. One guy is gonna walk here. I can just make him sleep. Move! <laughs> you never know how games work, Avalon, you know? Oh, fuck. I didn't mean... I did not mean to do that. What? There you go. You're gonna fall asleep. <gasps> so will you... So will you. There's three guys here. Just my imagination. Just my imagination. Okay. Do this again. Can't even hear the guy up there. Huh? What's wrong? I don't think they wake him up in this segment, do they? If I get the upper ground, we're good, dude. My pleasure, Alucard. Oh god, this guy. Are you good? You good? another that's two. Oh, i can't aim more down than this fuck what? What? your kills are only cleared from a save if you reload from main menu ah whatever all right. There's nobody here. Three enemies left. Where's the other two? There's one. I see him. All right. My emulator's slow down right here. They don't- they won't wake up here in this segment, I think. 
This is just like take them all out. Boom, boom, boom. Nobody here. Ugh. Okay. Oh yeah, he just fell asleep. One guy left. There he is. these guys why oh my god why can't you freeze them fuck you then got some drops sick i'm bleeding cut okay I know what to do here. Boom, 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 boom. And we're good. My frames zoom. Got any cool stuff? I gotta eat. Eat something I haven't eaten. Not eaten yet. Sure, I'll eat this. Tasty. Alright, oh, yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, what did she say about rations? Did she say anything? I see you've got yourself a ration. Ah. Rations are portable meals carried by Soviet soldiers. I've heard some nasty stories about how they taste. It looks like the rumors are true. Great. Hey, you should be grateful. Those things are designed to last. No matter how long you keep a ration, it'll never go bad. And they're surprisingly good for you, too. Huh. I'd take a snake over this any day, even if it's a little rotten. You are hopeless. <laughs> oh. It is Rowan, yeah. I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> Ooh, the engraved gun. R1? That's it! That's the stance! I don't think so. What? A female spy? This bitch is wearing perfume. Stay where you are. 
I've had enough of your judo. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? <laughs> well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun, I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. And you're forgetting one more very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. We'll see. carries six shots. The Makarov carries eight. You have to get a feel for how many you have left. This is a high-class weapon. It's not meant for shooting people. Isn't over yet. Don't. Why? He's still young. You'll regret stopping me. Damn it! I've got to get back before he does. It's open though, I can continue. I can't vault over this. Why do people friend? Thanks for the nine, dude. And fast time 70, dude. Thank you, man. Jesus. I mean, thank you. Fuck you. You just heal automatically, right? Yeah. Whoa, frames here. Holy frames in this area. It's gonna be a bit of slow mo here. I wonder if there's a fix for this, because if it lags here, then the finale is going to lag too. Why not play on PCSX2? That's what I'm doing. Might be a fix for it. Whatever. Fine. I'm gonna get out of here anyways. PG AK forty seven. Yeah. The water effects would be weird too. Fixed in one point seven. 
According to the Viki workaround, fixed in 1.7, 793. Use that or higher. Doth disable MTVU hack. I oh, really. I'm not, I'm not gonna bother with it now, cause. Oh shit, what is this snake? I don't want to turn it into text frame, it's only this area, anyways. Food full, damn it. Hey, not you. eaten yet. Let's eat it. Not so great. Really? I look good. Okay, what is this snake? Wow, you caught a coral snake. A coral snake. The coral snake is a venomous snake that originally hails from the Americas. Its venom is a very potent neurotoxin, so don't let it bite you. If you do get bitten, go into the survival viewer right away and use cure to neutralize the poison with a serum injection. The colorful red and black patterns on the coral snake are a warning sign. Oh. Apparently, the bright flashy colors and pattern let other animals know that it carries a deadly poison. That keeps them from attacking. Huh. There are many animals that mimic the colors of known poisonous animals as a defense. See, by mimicking other poisonous creatures, they increase their chances of survival. There is another non-poisonous snake called the milk snake that borrows its coloring from the huh. coral snake. Uh -huh. You're not even listening, are you? <laughs> no. <sighs> okay, we'll talk about something you're interested in then. The taste? Yes. <laughs> It says here that coral snakes are pretty good in a snaky kind of way. A snaky kind of way, huh? <laughs> Cole's thinking about the revolver. Hey, Snake, remember back at the abandoned factory when you whittled the grip of that 45 down? Yeah. I've never heard of a customization like that before. Why the grip? To fit it with a knife. A knife? You're going to keep the knife and the gun both at the ready? That's the idea. Why would you want to do that? Sometimes a knife works better in close proximity encounters. So I equip both at the same time. That way I can switch back and forth in an instant. Badass. So that's that. CQC. CQC. Snake, you said Eva said her Mauser was a Type 17, right? Yeah, Zombie face about paint it. if I go back. Oh, that really? model was produced in the 1920s in a weapons lab in the Shangzi province in China. The cartridge part sticks out lower than the original to accommodate 45 caliber rounds. The barrel and chamber are a little bit thicker, too. But most telling of all, it's got Chinese characters engraved on both sides of the frame like you saw. And that firing stance Eva was talking about where you hold the gun horizontally? That's a trademark of the Chinese. Just like you were saying, when you're firing in full auto mode, the muzzle jump effect gives you a horizontal strafing motion. They say it's especially deadly in indoor and close-range mop-up actions. The Japanese called it bandit shooting and used to dread it. Makes you wonder where she learned to shoot like that. Wait, let me go back for a zombie face paint then. I want to see that. Clear Rose, thanks for the 19. Happy New Year. Thank you. Where did I get it, though? Is it in a specific spot? Never played Eliza and I have not too much interest in it because I'm probably shit at it. Oh. Mine detector. Oh, that's good. Zombie face paint. There's the frog. Smoke grenade. Did I just start? No, 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 no. I'm a little bit in. I'm just looking for this zombie face paint. Under the stairs? I saw the frog, yeah, but I'm not gonna get... You have to get all the frogs for reward, and... That ain't happening. Um...
Any zombies here? Oh, doesn't explode. The percentage? Oh, that's your camouflage. Was behind. Oh, there, Zombie. Call paramedic now? Okay. You can capture animals alive by using the tranquilizer gun or a mouse trap. Well, now we know. When you capture a live animal, you can carry it on you as a weapon by going to backpack in the survival viewer. Once an animal is on your person, equip it and press the... This we know. When you're bitten by a venomous animal such as a snake or a spider or hit by a poisoned arrow, okay. the poison will start to affect your body. Your life will decrease with each. Yep. You know that army motorcycle that Eva was riding? That's a replica of a German model. A replica? Yeah. After World War II, the Soviets confiscated an entire assembly line from a German motorcycle factory, machines and all. And then they took it back with them and started producing replicas? Exactly. Originally, that motorcycle was designed to be used with a sidecar attached. That means it's got enough power to drag a 200-plus-pound sidecar around. So that's how she could pull off all those crazy stunts. Uh-huh. Of course, it takes a lot of skill to be able to control that much power. That Eva chick is something else. Snake, your face pain is... I know. It's called zombie. Zombie? What does that mean? Beats me. Are you serious? Hello, paramedic. You mean you've never heard of zombies? Nope. Never. You guys don't know anything. A zombie is a dead body that's been cursed and brought back to life by a master of black magic. Supposedly, they revive the dead and use them as slaves. It's also seen as a kind of punishment. People who commit terrible crimes can be forced to labor even after they're dead. Interesting. How do you know all this stuff? I saw it in movies. Like White Zombie. Never seen it? Uh, nope. Can't say I have. How about Plan 9 from Outer Space? No. Missed it. Hey, you... can't you... just focus on the things you like all the time. You have to expand your horizons, try new things. Like banana pizza. You guys need to get out more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, anyway, that face paint doesn't look all that useful. Go ahead and wear it if you want, but I think you should change to... You don't need to change anything. Why not? It makes them look awesome. Doesn't it? Look, arguing about it isn't going to get us anywhere. Snake, you do whatever you want. It does make you look cool. Okay. Hey, you. Let's continue to the lag area. Versus Sins, thanks to 42 and AK58. I'm a little bit in now. I think this playthrough will take me like three streams, though, because I'm doing a lot of radio calls and stuff. Frame. Ugh. Come on. Oh, I got a leech. Nothing under here? I do remember something here, though. here 
I don't know which PSX version I'm using, actually. I was sent this by Rowan, so I'm, I can check, though, but, yeah. Frames. Try pressing F9 for softer rendering mode for lag areas. Nope. Cure. Leech. I know what to use for this. Cigar. CBT action. Oh yeah, I want to get a uh, fish. <laughs> See what paramedic says about that. Oh, my food's full. Damn it. Time to eat some stuff I haven't tried. Fairly tasty. Oh yeah, I gotta eat the squirrel. Yeah, blood. What is this? This squirrel. Asked about flavor, but wasn't answered. I'll just eat this one too then. What can I say? Okay. What about the fish? I got a leech again. Ugh. I see you've caught yourself an arowana. Arowana, it is. Okay. The arowana is an ancient fish that lives in tropical freshwater areas. Because of its large size, I don't think you'll be able to capture one alive. Ancient fish like the arowana are living fossils. They've hardly changed their form since the Devonian and Jurassic periods. Other ancient fish besides the arowana include the coelacanth, the starlet, and the knife fish. Almost all organisms on Earth have evolved in various shapes and forms, but these fish have kept the same form for hundreds of millions of years. Baffling, isn't it? Sure. Well, I can see you're not interested. Not at all. I'm fascinated by ancient fish. Why? They're supposed to be huge, aren't they? You're wondering whether they'd make a good meal. Yeah. So, do they? The guide says they taste just fine for a fish. Great. <laughs> My frames. Oh. Snake, are you there? Eva? Did you miss me? Did you make it without any trouble? No one saw me. So you're back with Volgan? In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? Yeah, she's here too. Better be careful. Thanks, I will. The boss and I get along pretty well, though. I guess we traitors have a lot in common. Why would anyone want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I, I just don't get it. Are you talking about the boss? Why'd you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? Yes, in a small rural town. I never even knew there were other countries, hey, other cultures, you. other ways of thinking. Until I went to work for the NSA. And one day... I found I'd lost faith in the things I'd been taking for granted. What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I saw the universe. The universe? Not the actual universe. The universe as the intelligence community sees it. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. People and countries are both changed by their environment. And by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. There's a world of difference between this country and America. But it's only a difference of position. A difference of perspective. Coming here made me realize something. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. 
The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. Where's the truth, then? It's hidden in the lies. Are you lying, too? Who knows? I've been trained to make even the most severe falsehood sound like the honest truth. Weren't you? No. I believe because I have to. Even if it is a lie. That's part of my mission. I'll have to remember that. If you need me, give me a call on the radio. My frequency is 142.52. See ya. Cool. Alright, let's not miss this. La la la. We climb up here. <laughs> you shimmy over. Drop and grab. Keep chimming. Hey, you. And <clears throat> Croc Cap. <laughs> Is that something? Oh, that's something you have like as a weapon or in the in your backpack. Oh shit! I just equipped all this. Oops. No, I gotta go buffer before these calls hold up. Looks like you've got rid of all the ocelots. Yeah. Now proceed with the rescue of Sokolov. According to Eva, you should start by going to the crevice to the north and... Can we trust her? What's that? Eva is with the KGB, isn't she? Can I really believe what she says? How do I know she won't double-cross me? There are no guarantees in espionage, Snake. Only calculated guesses. At this point in time, the KGB stands nothing to gain by stabbing us in the back. So you're saying I can trust her? I'm saying the chance that she'll betray you is low. Ah. Uh. Of course, we checked the route she gave you against our own data. It looks like a pretty solid infiltration route. It makes good use of weak spots in the enemy's defenses. You shouldn't have any problems. Follow the route Eva showed you and proceed with the mission. Okay. Roger. But what about my mask? First, enter the cave through the crevice. Okay. Eva said it was to the north, so head that way. That swamp seems pretty deep. It's probably deep enough to dive underwater and swim around. Press the crawl button when you're swimming on the surface to dive underwater. The controls when you're underwater are quite different from when you're on land. The left analog stick controls... Do know this. Snake, you'll be helpless if a crocodile attacks you in the water. You can't see behind you when you're swimming. So if you're in a crocodile-infested swamp, Keep an eye on your six. It's only paramedic citizen and Eva. By using oh, okay. your sensors, you should be able to detect crocodiles before they get too close. Okay, so it's para. Okay, let's call it paramedic first. 
When you get hurt, your body will heal itself naturally over time. React to me! However, the speed at which your life recovers depends on how much stamina you have at the time. The Snake, what are you... How does it look? It looks cool. Huh? It looks cool on you. It does? Yeah. I don't think cool is the right word. Why? What's wrong with it? What's wrong? Don't you think it looks silly? Doesn't it make you laugh? Aren't you going to ask me what the hell I was thinking? No. Huh. I think it really does look good. It reminds me of the alligator people. Oh, the... what? The alligator people. It's a science fiction movie. You've never heard of it? No. Oh, well, you should see it sometime. It's about this guy who gets hurt in a car accident and tries to heal his wounds by injecting himself with a crocodile serum, but then his head turns into a crocodile head. You look just like him with the mask on. That's awesome! Right. Huh? Well, I call Siggins, and then I call Eva. A cap shaped like a crocodile head, you say? Yeah. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. You know, animal disguises are one of the oldest tricks in the book in the intelligence world. I don't know whether it's true or not, but I've heard that during World War II, the OSS used to use cow suits. Supposedly, they sent agents out to hide in herds of real cows so they could spy on enemy units as they passed by. Nowadays, I guess most people wouldn't even give a crocodile-shaped cap a second look. They think it was just a gag item. But if you use it the right way, it can be an effective weapon for spying. I gotta hand it to you, Snake. You're one sharp guy. You okay, Snake? Now forget it. Huh? Okay. What am I even then? That area is known as Chorny Prud. The name means something like the Black Shore in Russian. Hey, it you. It got its name from the deep swamp that covers the area. <laughs> the crocodiles in that swamp are extremely vicious. Apparently, they've already chewed up a bunch of soldiers out on patrol. Now, no one even dares to go near the swamp. They said that most of the soldiers who were killed were attacked from behind while they were in the water. You be careful out there. Scary. Eva, what kind of unit are those ocelots I fought a little while ago? The ocelot unit is an elite group composed of soldiers handpicked from among the ranks of Spetsnaz, the special forces wing of Gru. They've undergone even more rigorous training than regular Spetsnaz. Their skill with weapons is the stuff of legends. You'll find they're much better shots than the rest of Gru. Watch yourself. But react to me, Eva. The crevice that leads to the cave is still a ways to the north. Keep heading that way. Okay. The crevice that leads to the cave is... You have to close the codec every three calls? It's... Wait, what? Weird. I am a crocodile. And I have no frames. Is that a trap there? Oh, definitely. What if I continue over there where I was? Oh god, there's so many of them. Ah! Ah! You must be frames. Yeah, apparently you can fix this, but it's only this area. I don't want to turn into a tick stream right now. I'll just do it off stream. I'm gonna move on anyways. I got leeches.
You must be Ames. Dead by Hitman. He's seven, dude. Hmm. Fishy. There's a bunch of traps here. Oh, yeah, I see that. There's a bunch of C4 here. Or Claymores, I mean, yeah. Can you crawl over them in this game? And pick them up? Hey, you. Okay, you can, good. Hey, Zolko, happy new year, dude. Thanks for the 19 months. Thank you. Oh, I see another. Wait, is that a dog? Oh, fuck, there's guard dogs. Huh? Yeah, I, yo, I thought that was a tranquilizer. <laughs> uh. It is what it is. Can I eat him? Oh, he doesn't even drop any food? Well, death, I guess. Where's my death pill? God damn it. I thought I had that unequipped, dude. Come on, man. Bam, 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 bam. Let's unequip that right now so I don't do that mistake on a guard. <laughs> I could have sworn I unequipped it, dude. There we go. Now it's gone. Good. Nice. Ah, perfect. Dinero. Yeah, I tranquilized the dog. Tranquilized it all the way to doggy heaven. Cool. Cool. <laughs> yeah, Blue Demon, 34. Happy New Year, man. Hope you're well, dude. Thank you. Hey, you. Yeah, someone said you have to exit to the main menu for kill counter, but I mean, it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. As long as you non lethal the bosses so you get the camos, that's, all, that's the most important thing. Yes, Vargas. He has a version himself, too. Huh? 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 Who's noticing this? I'll see a guy here. Is there like a sniper up there or what? Huh. Weird. You are gonna oh. sleep for days, dude. <clears throat> Dogs don't count as kill counter. Damn. What's over here? I'm supposed to go towards the dogs, I'm pretty sure, but... Something is over here. Maybe... I guess there's two paths, maybe. There's the Prud again. This is the lag area. Yeah. Oh, that you come here then. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha.
I'm running low on uh, silencer. Oh shit, the dogs are awake. Fucking A. Go to bed. Sweet. Do you hey, have something you. on you that I could use? Um... Can you knife the radio? You should be able to. Great. Um. I guess I could pull out the other gun for that. That would work. Shit. <clears throat> yeah, I could. I could shoot with the, with the, uh, with the thing. Camo? Missed camo? Camo? Any camo here? What? Come on. I just want to evolve. Or, uh, shimmy. Hey, you! And, um, thanks for 72, dude. And zero was 43. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. What? Come on. Ah! Damn you, video. I gotta eat my stamina. All of this just works. Whoa, that was loud. What the fuck? Ziff flirt. Oh shit. You get five tier two subs? What the hell, man? Thank you, dude. Fucking hey, thank you, man. Oh, not here. Food. Uh, that was tasty. Tasted great. Time to eat the rabbit. Let's see. Pretty tasty. Ah, What's wrong? Bruh. Bruh. Just go to bed, man. Fuck. I'm gonna need a suppressor. And you know what? Are you alive? You're leading against the fence. Yo, you, come here. Hey, you. Oh, fuck, there's a guard there?
Huh? What? Who's that? Freeze! Oh, fuck you. What? What? What is happening? Snake hit you? Hello? Oh my god, everything is fine. I guess. I need suppressor. Can you give me a suppressor? Please. Yo, you're almost waking up. Wake up. Freeze. Do you have a suppressor? Oh, shit. You definitely did not, man. Yeah, you are. Fucking hey, this area is packed and. Huh? That's rough. Um. Fuck. What's wrong? Hey, you. Shit. Ah. Oh. Ah! What's wrong? Yeah, go wake him up, dude. Come in, HQ. This is HQ. Dinero. In this donation, I drop an end bomb. By Ig1, hard R. I did this to show the streamer that his language doesn't impress me. You can see from his reactions that it worked. He was clearly taken aback. It oh was my a power god, move my which frame I am here. entirely unashamed of. Yo, my frames here are absolutely fucking mental. Let me save. Do you want to save? I do. Snake, have you heard of It Came From Outer Space? Yeah, you told me already. So this astronomer sees a meteor, but it's really an alien spaceship, right? And the aliens start replacing the townspeople with clones and forcing them to help repair the ship. The 3D effects were quite realistic. I've got all the real I can handle here in the jungle. No, you don't get it. Precisely because it's realistic, with the images jumping out of the screen at you, it makes for a nice escape from reality. I have to admit it made my eyes tired, but it was really intense. Unfortunately, they don't make very many of those movies anymore. When did it come out? I was still in college, so probably about 10 years ago. Guess I'm out of luck then. You know, they're coming out with household versions of video cassette recorders. One day you'll be able to see old movies anytime you want. Why movie so many movie like references? It's movie cool to make a movie own. freak. Really? It's like if you had a record with movie film etched onto it instead of music. It'll work the same way. You're kidding. No, really. And someday they might make movies where you control the characters yourself. Sounds like magic. It'll happen. Make sure you stay alive to see it, Snake. Yo, Faye, that's a tier 3 18 months. God damn. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I did just save. Let's see. What is my version that I'm playing on right here? Does it say? It is 1.7.0. Someone said all you need to do is just change the, uh, the, uh, oh, it's actually rendering with OpenGL. Maybe it's better if I do it D3. Can't tell until I, Papioko, thanks for the, uh, sub to community, man. Grandmaster Pew, thank you. Oh yeah, this is a lot better. Oh yeah, this is tons better. Okay. Nice. Oh, that was an easy fix. Uh, 
Oh, this caution's bad, though. Fuck. And I have no silencer, so... I want to get in here and see all the fat loot. I think you can just run around this area. You don't need to enter it. But I want to get in there and see. I'm going to do this. I'm going to be smart. Wait, no. Because that doesn't have a silencer either. I think they use the same silencer as did. I'm pretty sure. There's so many guards here. I have to chill, dude. I can't enter this building with this many guards walking around. Oh, this is the other entrance to this area? Cool. Alright, 20 seconds. I'll just wait. I might as well at this point. Get some more water, because I don't have any... Situation is normal. We Gucci? Understood. Return to your position. <clears throat> hey, you. Alright, how do we get in here? Without using my gun. Because they'll hear it. A lot. Yeah, I read about the bombing there. Shit, if that guy patrols like that, I might be able to put him on the ground and freeze him. Do I have a book? Shit. Ugh. Where are you going to patrol now? I've been playing this game all streams like five hours. Come on, you got to patrol, man. If I could just freeze him on the ground, that would be optimal. Come on. Move, move. There you go. Oh, you walk on the inside now? Okay, and then you walk outside. All right. So what about the other guy? He's all the way over there. That's interesting. As long as I don't trigger a caution... There's a guy over there, too. All right. Well, I have an idea. What? Fucking freeze him. Huh? Oh, my God. Why can't I freeze sometimes? It just doesn't let me. Okay, can I somehow fuck with his radio here without actually, like...
snow. Shoot it with gun? Yeah, the thing is, I don't have a silencer. They're all gonna hear it. Huh? Who was that? Who's that? Oh, fuck me. That's rough. Alright, let me switch area. I'm switching area. Oh, this is so hard without a silencer. I think they share silencer, don't they? I think so. Oh, fuck. Oh, great. Well, okay, that doesn't work. do I do? This is fucked up. I can't go back there, and I can't go back here. This is a fucked up situation, man. They don't know I'm here. I'm fine. They, they, they don't know I'm here, I think. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'll chill here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Can I make it even better? I'm tired because I was up late watching hentai. Now nah, I'm 95%, dude. I'm almost invisible. Why am I so unlucky? <laughs> what about this area? Am I flying on this side? Oh god, that guy's using the machine gun. Shit, I'm in a bad position right now. No, please. God damn it. <laughs> All right, true, Mitmoto, it does. Fuck, I just need to chill, dude. Can you all just cut me some slack? <laughs> Clearly, you have no idea where I am right now, right? Okay, good. This is good. All right. Fuck, I forgot that guy standing guard at the door, dude. I have a cut on my cheek. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Good. That's it. Let's see. Let me put on my other gun too. I have an idea now. Okay, so this is how I can make sure they can't call any friends. Perfect. Let's see. Do they share? Ooh, okay, interesting. That's really good. Then I can fuck with the radio. They don't share silencers. That means I can fuck with the radios then. No. No. No, 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 no. Just stay away, dude. Huh? Is that him? No, it's not, you I little bitch. Ah, so... I can't li... What can I do to save myself here? I'm literally stuck between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> I guess, yeah, I guess I gotta keep crawling. Fuck. Oh, my lord. A uh, fake death pill you could do too, I guess. I will fuck up this base hard. It's just a matter of time.
that's the guard that saw me right there. I completely forgot he existed. All right, if I go into these leaves now, there's no way they're gonna check these leaves here. I'm completely safe here. But I'll keep crawling, I'll keep crawling, I'll keep crawling. That guy's still knocked out. Wow, that's impressive. This is HQ. Control here. We've lost sight of the intruder. Going into high alert. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. Hey, I am you. in the No, this is hard difficulty. Oh, the like I can't enter this base with on caution. That is so risky. How loud is the gunshot? That's the question. A gunshot wound, bleeding, no bandage, not disinfected. Disinfect, styptic, suture, bandage. Cool. All right, I'm gonna explore my options on this side of the base. There's a ladder up there, I see. Oh. Oh. What are you? Did you? Oh, he just woke up from his coma. I gotta eat too, so I region health. Uh, what haven't I eaten? Taste unknown. All right. This is horrible. Let's eat the hornet's nest. Said to be very tasty. I want some more. Yeah, dude. Let's go. Let's go, snake. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I got this. I mean, it's honey, you know. Good shit. Oh wait, there's a little uh storage over here. There. There's a hole in the fence over there. I see it. All right, good. I'm getting a good vantage point of the base now. Okay, there's a guard standing guard right there. Good to know. Now, I could just proceed here and skip this area, but I don't want to. I want to see what's in here. Will they hear me if I shoot? From here, you think? Uh, it's probably gonna reset the caution, which is really annoying. Yeah, on hard difficulty, I'm sure they'll hear it. But I could crawl in under the fence over here, though. Oh, shit. I'll crawl in under the fence. Then I know there's a guy patrolling behind this wall. There he is. He's being all... Oh, shit. Good thing I didn't go for that. I'm going under. I'm going under. Okay. I'm in. I'm in. I'm inside. 20 seconds for caution. Fifteen. Ten. Get rid of all these guards. Put the croc cap on, they'll think you're fauna. <laughs> yeah. Gooey boy pussy, HQ, thanks for the nine months. Respond. She, thanks 22. Q40, I fairly 41. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Patrol here. The situation is normal. Understood. Return to your position. All right. So I know there's a guy that actually patrols in front of me here.
another victim. Give me silencer. Where's all them silencer hiding at? Hmm? Fuck, this is tight. The hell do I do here? I don't even have a porn magazine. Any secret hatch? Can't grab this guy without the other guy seeing it, probably, so... That guy's walking over there. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Oh. Juicy loot in here, dude. There you are. Okay, I'm waiting for this guy. I can't hands up this guy without... And this guy needs to move to the right again. He's moving, that's good. There he is. There's the other guy, okay. What's over here? Wait, does this take me outside? That's not a silencer. God damn it. 
of all the fucking silencers at? No, he saw that. Going on? No, everything is awful. Oh, come on. I didn't think he was. No. Pain. Oh, I went through so much effort. Come on, man. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I right, just kill me, I guess. Just end me. <laughs> Are oh, you so tanky on his difficulty? Like insanely tanky. Fuck, dude! Imagine how easy this would be. Yo, Dragon de Gaulle, thanks for the prime, man. Imagine how easy this would be if I actually had a fucking silencer. <laughs> but I don't. So I just gotta deal with it. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I just have to deal with it, man. That's just the way it goes. I fucked up. But I can learn from my mistake and grow from it and do better. Which is exactly what I will do. I know where all the guards are now, so it's actually- this base is not too tight. It's not too tight, actually. It's doable. It's doable, for sure. Move. Three, two, one. Move. I know there's a guard in front of that door. Right there, yeah. Can I vault over this? Yes. Okay. Shit. Oh, fuck. I can't go there. No, we're not. This is HQ. No, I'm not. I gotta try this. Open the door, snake! You're gonna take four years doing it? <sighs> I'm safe under the bed. This is my safe spot, dude. Yeah, I can't win. Oh, I gotta get my food. Shit.
Wait, what? Caution went up again? I knew Javlar. Smash key. Dude, it's tempting to crawl and grab this, but they see you so easily. They're inside. I can hear them, they're coming. I can't move, they'll see me. If I get spotted here, I'm fucked. The legendary Tuchinoko snake? Oh, is that an Easter egg? gear this plates as I'm waiting for caution. Look at this, dude. You. All right, let's not fuck this up now. I, I have give, I've been given an opportunity, and I'm taking it. Okay, think now. Think and act. You know, you know exactly what to do here, man. How fast will he react if I... Can I freeze when I'm under the bed? Shit. Maybe I could just... No. This is the worst. I don't know how to handle this. Huh? What's that sound? Wait, who's going for that? That's not the guy I was hoping to get. Fuck. I was hoping he would freeze. Shit. There's nothing here. <laughs> Fuck, dude, chat. What do I do? I need to get him in here without him seeing. I need to get him in here and then get him without him knowing. 
I might... I might have an idea, though. Huh? Huh? Hmm. Footsteps. Freeze! <laughs> He's going to be laying here forever now. <sighs> it's subsistence. Yeah, it is. Good. This is better. We're getting there. We're learning. We're good. Destroy this shit. Oh, that was terrible, wasn't it? This is horrible. Yeah. That wasn't too good. That's tasty. Mm-hmm. There. Are you serious? There's no way you can know. Don't walk this way, dude. It will not end well for you. I must be seeing things. Fuck, I'm gonna have to use my unsilenced gun here. Unless... I don't have anything to throw, unfortunately. Nothing is caged. <sighs> Fuck, they're gonna hear this so badly though. This is gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna be very loud, too. Hey, you. That's the problem, dude. Fuck, this is such a bad situation. All because I don't have a silencer. If I throw a grenade, they're all gonna hear it. I'm gonna go into caution. Now, if I could just... Oh, wait, maybe. Maybe. I have an idea. Crawl forward. Is that what you want, Zero? What's CQC? Close quarter combat. Mm. 
Now... Now, all I have to do is wait for the exact right moment and... Oh, that's a lot of ammo. Looks good to me, dude. Speak. Destroying the armory will... Uh-huh. Speak. If you shoot the barbed wire fence power source... Oh, really? Speak. Let me go! Freeze. <laughs> There's not a single silencer here, dude. Wait, so you can just throw a grenade to destroy this, yeah? Fuck, that means this guy's gonna die, though. C4? I don't have any C4. I don't even think I've found any. I have TNT. You have a silencer? God damn it, no one has a goddamn silencer. <laughs> Yo, wake up. <laughs> what do you mean, caution? Freeze. Good. He's not gonna die to this, right? Or is he still too close? Fuck it, if he dies, he dies. It is what it is. Hmm. We're gonna blow the fuck out of this joint. Oh yeah, call zero. Move, man. Come on. Kimchi, thanks for the 10. And Evgeny Star, thanks for the 32. And Osprey. Thank you. I'm glad you still like it, man. Love from Yabla. Freeze, bitch. Don't think I have, Fluffy. I'm sure. Speak. The armory can be destroyed with TNT. Uh huh. Yeah. Speak. Fire support request one four eight point six three. Fire support request. Speak. Let go of me. You're gonna go sleep with your friend. Oh. 
Wake up. You're both hey, gonna you. lay there like good boys, huh? I will blow the fuck out of this joint too. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna blow up the food storage. Move along. Hey, you. I'm gonna fuck every. I'm gonna fuck this whole base up. Apparently, if it affects the entire game. If you blow this up, guards will be hungry. Maybe they'll have worse stuff. I have three people on freeze right now. And it's about to be four. Don't know anything. Just oh. know then. Hello. Oh. 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 Freeze. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna fuck that chopper up. Time to blow it all up. And then I'm I move on. Some people might die now. Who cares? Oh yeah, I was supposed to call Colonel Major Zero before. Good. You've reached the relay station, but stay alert. That station is an enemy strong point. The security is bound to be tight. But there's no other way to get to the crevice if I don't make it through. Exactly. The crevice leading to the cave is in the north of that area. Find a way to slip past the enemy and head north. Oh yeah, they're calling too, yeah. The crevice leading to the cave is in the north. Is it 14863 or 14683? I don't know, we're blowing this joint up right now, alright? That's what cool people say, blow, blow the joint up. And I'm out, dude. Ah, you're here at last. Looks like the boss's info was right. Now you've made me taste bitter defeat.
to disappoint the Cobras. But you're mine now. All of you, leave us. You and me. No one to get in our way. Ocelots are proud creatures. They prefer to hunt alone. This time I've got 12 shots. Like that off a lot, huh? Get away from me! like this before. That's so different from simply changing the clip. <laughs> this reload time is exhilarating. I don't know where that one goes. Oh, over there, okay. I have a cigar on, dude, because I'm cool. My hat! I shot his hat off! <laughs> Ricocheting the bullets, I think he is. Wow, what a guy. Damn it. He found us.
accidentally killing them by spinning his revolver. <laughs> We'll meet again. Wait, so chat, because I blew up the food now, they're gonna be hungry, right? And then I blew up the armory. What, what does blowing up the armory do? Do they, does it change their weapons? Less bullets? Okay. This tastes great. So, I all- Wow, he thinks the snake tastes great now. Um... I'm sure I have night goggles. Thermal. Oh, I can use the cigar for light. Wait, is this crab? I have sphexophobia BTW. Fun stream, yep. This is fine. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh. That's rough. I got a crab! Let's see what the paramedic says about it. I see you have a calorie mate. Calorie mate? Oh, I got the that earlier. You're holding now? Oh, the little block that looks like a cookie? Try it, it's pretty good. Okay. But what is this thing? Never seen anything like it. Calorie Made is an energy supplement that contains all the proteins, lipids, vitamins, carbohydrates, oh. and minerals needed for a balanced diet. That's OP. It's a well-balanced food. Because of that, it's just perfect for giving your body the nutrition it needs in combat. It sounds like a space-age food. Real astronaut food is not very good, but that should taste fine. Yeah, and it'll help balance out all this jungle food I'm eating. It's easy and quick to eat, so it's perfect when you're running late for an important mission in the morning. I've never been late for a mission. Really? Aren't you always keeping people waiting? What? It's easy to keep track of your calorie intake and receive the nutrition your body needs, so it's good for losing weight, too. All of the geisha girls in Japan use it for watching their calories. Is that why they're all so slim? Right. And any diet where you eat nothing at all is bad for the body. True. I see. You seem to know a lot about Japan, don't you? Yes. I love Japan. <laughs> I have a crab. I see you've caught yourself a Kenyan mangrove crab. Yes. The Kenyan mangrove crab is a land-going crab. It lives in burrows dug near seashores and mangrove swamps. It's not poisonous, but it might hurt a little if it attacks you with its pinchers. Treat it with caution. Got it. So this thing must taste pretty good, huh? Why do you say must? <laughs> it's a crab, isn't it? It is. <laughs> and crabs are good to eat. What's so good about them? You don't like crab? Not at all. Why not? Why? How can you eat those things? They're all purple and yellow striped, and they stink like cat pee. What? <laughs> but that's just my opinion. Don't listen to me. Let's see here. The guide says... No way. It says they're delicious. Well, if you want to eat one, then go right ahead, but count me out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Call Eva about the calorie mate. Snake, are you all right? Yeah, just barely. What the hell were all those hornets? Most likely that was the pain, one of the cobras. I figured as much. Are they tracking me? I don't know. The Cobras only take orders from the boss. 
Not even Volgan knows what they're really up to, so I don't know anything about them either. No kidding. I'll try and dig up as much as I can about them. You just focus on moving ahead. So she's... Go to the end of the cave and you'll come out in an aqueduct overgrown with mangroves. This leads to the Ponizovie Swamp. And Snake, be careful. That cave... Is pitch dark inside. Good. I did remember to tell you then. <sighs> Harbor Age, 70 months, man. Thank you. If it's completely dark and you need a light, try using a torch. I heard there's some emergency torches stored somewhere in that cave. Torches. Got it. So where are they? Huh? Where are the torches? How should I know? Go find them yourself. <laughs> Eva, where are you now? I told you, didn't I? I'm right near the colonel. Pretty weak answer, if you ask me. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Eva. Snake. I'm under orders to cooperate with you, but that doesn't mean I have to tell you everything I know. I would assume the same applies to you, too. Mm. Calorie Mates. That cave is known as Chornaya Someone said th Peshera. this game was actually sponsored by Calorie Russian, Mates. Chornaya Peshera means the black cave from which cold wind blows. It's a magma cavern formed millions of years ago, back when Salino Yarsk was the site of volcanic activity. The structure of the cave is pretty complex, but you should be able to find the aqueduct if you keep moving inward. Head toward the interior of the cave. Calorie mates. If it's completely dark and you need a light. Calorie mates. If it's complete. Okay, do I need to like equip it maybe? Or something? Can you even equip that? I don't think you can. Eat one? Oh, maybe I need to eat one. Calorie mate. You have to leave the codec menu to refresh Eva calls. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Someone said Snake's eyes gets used to the dark eventually. Go to the end of the cave and you'll come out in... Yeah, 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 yeah. Snake. Have you heard about the massacre that happened in the forest near the village of Gnezdovo? The Katyn Forest Massacre, right. During World War II, the German army came upon the bodies of 4,000 dead It's a bit different, Zomid, for sure. Yeah, Germany blamed the Soviet Union, but the Soviet Union denied it, blaming Germany in return. The truth is that Stalin ordered the NKVD to carry out the killings. And it's not just Katyn. In places like Western Ukraine and Belarus, there must have been at least 20,000 Poles in the prison camps. Why are you telling me this? Volgan was one of the people responsible. He was one of the vicious leaders behind it. Volgan was? He blamed it on a prisoner revolt to allay any fears and requested they be put to death. I've heard that Volgan even removed the blindfolds from each prisoner before he beat them to death. I knew he wasn't all there in the head, but this... Not someone you could be friends with. Equip Croc Kid too, so you can try for both. Yeah, I want to see her say this. If it's completely dark... But apparently it's a bit glitched. It's so dark here. Yo, is this a snake I've never done before? That area is inhabited by the Taiwanese cobra. Oh. The Taiwanese cobra is native to Taiwan and southern China. It's quite vicious and carries a potent neurotoxin in its fangs. Be careful. If it bites you, go into the survival viewer immediately and use the cure option to inject yourself with serum. Sounds interesting. Don't ask me. Huh? The guide doesn't say. If you absolutely have to know, then you'll just have to try it yourself and see. I didn't say anything. But you were going to ask, weren't you? About the taste? Maybe. I'll talk to you later, Snake. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to do that. By the way, Snake. What? You know the Ocelot unit commander? Ocelot? Yeah, 
That's not his real name, is it? I wouldn't think so. Is it a code name? You mean like Snake? Yeah. Maybe. Why? Is that strange? No, I was just wondering why he's called Ocelot. Why is that? Well, I looked it up, and it turns out the Ocelot is a wild cat whose habitat stretches from the southern U.S. down to northern Argentina. They live in a variety of different environments from tropical rainforests to savannas. The biggest ones can grow up to one meter in length. They're normally solitary creatures, and their diet consists mainly of small animals and fish. During the day, they sleep up in the trees, but at night... Yeah, a uh, paramedic. Oh, right. So, the ocelot is an animal that lives on the American continent. But then I wondered, mm. why would a Soviet officer be using the name of an American wildcat? Good question. Maybe it's because he's fast and agile like an ocelot. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you're right. Hmm. But why'd you go to all the trouble of looking it up? Because I was curious. Was it helpful? Uh, sure. All right, Eva, are you going to tell me about this stuff? If it's completely dark. Nah, she's just weird, dude. Fuck it, I'm moving on. Smoke some cigar. A lot of crabs here. There's a tunnel here. Hello? Is this a different frog? <laughs> Have I eaten you before? We're gonna find out. Oh yeah, I need to save. I haven't saved in a while, true. I th his eyes are getting more used to it, I think. Yo, die! <laughs> Time to eat something. What haven't we eaten? Throw the tree frog away. Throw the mushroom away. Not hornet's nest. A Baltic one. I want some more. I want some more. I'm not doing vegan playthrough, no. I, I, li I love these calls about, like, all this stuff. Serum? I have infrared or thermal goggles. I can see all the animals, at least. Can't see shit otherwise, though. But how does Ocelot taste? I don't need sleep. I need answers. Yeah, I was curious about that too, actually. That's a lot of crabs here. Oh. Oh, is this the... The battery charging mushroom? What is this codec? I see you found some Russian glow caps. The Russian glow cap is a kind of luminescent fungus, a mushroom that glows in the dark. Why would a mushroom glow in the dark? It's bioluminescent, just like a firefly. It uses the so called luciferin luciferase reaction. To put it simply, Luciferin reacts with luciferase in the presence of magnesium 2 plus ions, breaking it down into oxyluciferin and the carbon dioxide. Again. Okay. The carbonyl groups in the oxyluciferin are initially in an electrical excited state. When they return to their base state, they give off light. Did you get all that? Not really. Oh. By the way, does that mushroom recharge your batteries when you eat it? Huh? I mean, it seems like if you ate a glowing mushroom, it might recharge your batteries or something. Snake, your batteries are organic batteries. <laughs> they produce electricity by utilizing the potential difference between cells. Organic batteries are known for their highly efficient energy conversion, but they still rely on chemical reactions between proteins and enzymes to... So you're saying they'll get recharged? Believe what you want. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right, I'm going to eat it in color again. <laughs> I haven't eaten marijuana yet. Hmm. 
paramedic. What's up? You were right. About what? I ate a Russian glow cap and it charged up my batteries. Huh? What's wrong? I, uh, that's, that's great. Um, Snake, can you excuse me for a second? Sure. Did you just eat it? <laughs> yeah. There's no way eating a bioluminescent mushroom would cause your batteries to recharge. What do you think it means? It beats me. Maybe it's all in his mind. You mean like a placebo effect? <laughs> Why not? You've seen how gullible he is. Well, I guess there's no harm done. Should we let him keep believing it? Sounds good to me. Okay, Snake, I'm back. Yes, the Russian glow cap is a glowing mushroom, so it'll recharge your batteries when you eat it. God, Jesus Christ. Torch. Well, let's equip it. I can see something. I am blind. It's right there. Cool. All right, this works. Yeah, it was different. Thank you, brother. Thank you. That's where I crawled in. I love these codec calls. Like, they're so funny. Don't care how long this playthrough is going to take. I love it. Are you a cobra? Good. here now but there's another path oh I can swim here there's a hole in the wall there's some weird fish here maybe I can eat them These are not arowana, so that's that this is new. Can I shoot the goon when I'm up on the surface? <sighs> I think I can, yeah. Aha! Time for paramedic again. I see you've caught yourself a maroon shark. A shark? The maroon shark is found mostly in Southeast Asia, but it's not actually a no. shark. It's related to the carp. Okay. It's also known as the red fin cigar shark, the river barb, and the sultan fish. Interesting. So how does it taste? According to the guide, it's good, but it's kind of oily and it has a lot of little bones. Fine with me. I never worry about the little things. So I gathered. Oh. Oh, okay, Sadie, that's how it is. <sighs> what the hell? Okay, I'm gonna eat something I haven't eaten before. Hmm. Mm. 
delicious. Nice. We'll eat a ration too. Fuck it. I'm gonna puke. Oh. But maybe they're nutritious though. Yeah, I know about it, Mustang. Yeah. <laughs> oh, his eyes have gotten used to this quite a lot now. I don't even need torch anymore. Battery. All right, that's cool. Can I go up here? Oh, I can't. Ah, damn it. Oh, yeah, zero? It's pretty weird, yeah. No, zero, this is a different version. It, it, it doesn't have the hammer and sickle um, logo on it. The reason they, they removed LS7 was because of the hammer and sickle. Or we changed it. Oh, there's a path here. I didn't see that. Yeah, I know. Zero. It's weird. It makes no sense, really. <laughs> Gotta eat something I haven't eaten. I'm gonna throw that cobra at someone after freezing them. A coral snake. Let's eat it. Hey, this works. Okay. What about an arowana? Oh shit! All right. I know about Red Velvet, yeah. I know about it. I wanted to puke, though. Poor little snake. What is this clip? Bottom left? What? But that's fine though, isn't it? That's not dangerous. Hey, you. Oh shit, that's dangerous, yeah. Amazing. I never knew we lo <laughs> I should crawl with torch. Oh you can, yeah. Hey, you Why is crowd out next is three months, brother? Thank you. Let's grow down. Let's grow down. There's the night vision goggles. Cool. Am I back out here now? Oh, what the hell? How do I get out of here? Ah, I 
am stuck. The game isn't holding my hand. Don't gotta go down here. Not in there. There's only one path to walk here. This just takes me to the night vision goggles. So not here either. Okay, maybe it is crawling under then. Because I've been up there, but I didn't I wasn't there when I could see so good. Their percentage? Oh, it's your camouflage. Oh, there's a path here. I've missed this before. Hey, Constanza, you too, do you too. I'm gonna save because I think I remember what happened here. You want to save? Yep. Oh, yeah, bats. Yeah, I got a call about the bats. Bath. Snake, have you seen 007 from Russia with Love? Nah, I don't like those movies. Real spies are nothing like James Bond. It's pure fantasy. Snake, I don't think the Major's going to like you saying that. And even though it's fiction, I can't help but comparing myself to Bond. What exactly don't you like about James Bond? I mean, is it the fantastic gadgets, the cars, the guns? Major. Snake, wouldn't you like to have a gun shaped like a pen? What good is a pen gonna do me I in the jungle? Thing, yeah. I'd look like a fool. Then what about a snake-shaped gun? You could make it look like you're grappling with a giant snake and then get a shot in on the enemy while they're distracted. <laughs> okay, now you're being ridiculous. We'll make you a snake-shaped gun that folds up and fits into an attaché case. Will you give it a rest? Oh, I get it. You're worried about how to handle the ladies, aren't you? No. I knew it. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I don't like the idea of playing hanky-panky with enemy femme fatales either. But that's part of Bond's appeal. You could learn a thing or two from him. I mean, what about this Eva? What are you planning to do with her? I... I don't even trust her yet. No, that's not what I mean. You, you can't let yourself get involved. This is a game of spy versus spy. She's using you just as much as you're using her. I realize that. You've got to grab the initiative, and to do that, you have to get the upper hand in the relationship. That's what a spy is supposed to do. Get the upper hand? I don't think I'm cut out for that mission. Maybe if you change your code name to 00 Snake. Major. 007 is the biggest thing to come out of England since the Mayflower. I wouldn't be surprised if they made 20 more of those movies. Didn't you know? The Major is a huge James Bond fan. Don't get him worked up like this. Worked up? Maybe you don't realize this, but now that you've got him started talking about Bond, I'm going to have to listen to him lecture for a whole hour after he gets off the radio. You have my sympathy. It's too bad you can't enjoy such a great movie, though. I guess I'm just one of those people who can't enjoy spy flicks. All right. All right. Yeah, the bats. Let's see here. I 
I see you've caught a vampire bat. The vampire bat bites its victims and sucks their blood. Got it. Speaking of bats... Just save it. Huh? I know you're gonna talk about vampire movies, Attack of the Vampire Donuts, or Dracula vs. the Space Hippos, or something like that. Actually, I was going to say that bats are known to use supersonic waves to sense their surroundings. Oh. Bats use supersonic waves to sense their surroundings, so you might be able to keep them away by blasting them with a special kind of sound wave. Alternatively, you could try equipping a torch and waving it around with the CQC button. As for taste, I suppose there's no reason you couldn't eat them. Hmm. Snake, do you hate vampire movies? What? Just now, you sounded like you really hated them. I did? Yeah. Oh. Well, no one really likes them, do they? Some people do. Like you? Yeah. They're fascinating, you know? Like the movie Dracula... Don't say it. Why not? Just don't. Are you afraid? What? You're afraid of vampires, aren't you? Don't be ridiculous. But... Listen. There are no such things as vampires. They're just a stupid, made-up legend. Even if they do seem real sometimes. Well, sure. You think I'd be afraid of something like that? No. Exactly. Right. I'm not afraid of vampires. Uh-huh. It's just that whenever somebody starts talking about vampires, I end up dreaming about them that night, and I don't need that right now. That's all. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Streamer. What are your resolutions for 2022? Is one of them to free the bat? Bat chest. My resolution for 2022, which man? <laughs> it's 1080p. <laughs> ah! That is fucking hilarious, dude. I don't have any new year's resolutions, dude. <laughs> I ain't got any. Probably... Have a stream more prepared when I go live. Yeah, that's my, that's my resolution. That'll be my resolution. Oh, I gotta eat the crab. Pretty tasty. Oh, nice. Uh huh. So the emulators tend to have a huge frame rate drop here, but I think we fixed it by changing the rendering. Seems like it's fine. We are the sons of the boss. Ha! I am the pain. Ha! I will guide you to a world of anguish beyond your imagination. How do you fight this guy? Can you use stun grenades? That was the question. I remember there's something you can use, right? Something specific, I'm pretty sure. Oh. 
Oh my god, this fucking whip is mental. Like throw something at him, or am I just remembering wrong? Like a flash grenade or some shit. <sighs> well, not a chaff. Oh, I gotta do this. Remove some shit. Remove a torch. Uh... I'll try a stun grenade. Okay, yeah, that removes his armor. Okay, so that's what you can do. Oh my god, I'm deaf. Give you grenades here, okay. I need some darts though. Oh wait, that missed him? What? Yeah, I'm gonna equip real grenades then. Maybe they work better here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I still need ammo though. I don't think I can throw this far. Oh, nice. Hey. Grenade! I'm out of ammo now. Um, no, I'm not. Yeah. 
does he do now? Go, get I need grenades. Yeah, when you uh, kill bosses non-lethal, you, you get specific camouflage from them. It's like a reward. So that's cool. He has it right there, yeah. I get up there, okay. Oh. I gotta eat some too. What do we have? <coughs> Can you actually see QC him, by the way? Does that work? What's over here? This ain't where I came from. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't want to go down there. The cans? Okay. Uniform slash Hornet Stripe. Hell yeah. Cool. Happy New Year's though. I don't think I have anything on me, no. Oh yeah, call sticking for info, yeah. Right. Snake, what's that camouflage? It's called Hornet Stripe. I got it from the pain. No kidding. Sounds like a pretty unique design. From the looks of it, it's somehow infused with the power of hornets. <laughs> the power of hornets? Sure. When you're wearing that outfit, hornets won't attack you. Neither will spiders or leeches. That's good. You might even be able to tame the ones that come flying out of a hive. Huh. Tame them?
Is this fruit? I see you found a Russian false mango. The Russian false mango is a mango-like fruit found only in Selinoyarsk. The egg-shaped fruit is sweet and tangy with a pleasing aroma, just like a mango. Also, the seeds can be used to make a medicine that aids in digestion. Oh. It might come in handy if you ever have an upset stomach. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I got the glowing mushrooms, yeah. I did the call. Hey, you. Jidra, thanks for the 64 months. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Still haven't found any silencer, by the way, which is kind of feels man. Ah, uh, no hey, plans on doing that, Kratos. No. The glow mushroom. My food is full. Anything else I haven't eaten here? Oh, yeah, the Russian thing. Oh, yeah, the bath. Let's eat it. I've had enough. Uh. We're going to get the Ronas now. Or a little mushrooms, but I really don't need any. We're out. Ponizovia South. Now we're here. Thanks for the nine. Hey, you. Thank you. Oh, is this different fish? Or have I eaten this before? Hmm. No, it looks like fish I've already eaten, right? Oh yeah, crocodile cap, yeah. Am I fine if I just duck like this and they try to see me? There is a new fish here. Which is the new fish? I need it. Oh, it's a small fish, isn't it? No. Yeah. No. No, I'm not going to kill the end early, no. Okay, I got a new fish. So exciting. I see you've caught yourself a big eye trevally. The big eye trevally is a type of mackerel. Ma the adult it. fish lives around coral reefs, but the young can be found in freshwater areas such as estuaries and rivers. Good to know. So, how do they taste? Hmm, the guidebook doesn't say. Huh. Well, I just have cough kind of meds and Joe's They should be okay to eat, right? You'd think so, but... But what? Well, I've heard stories about people getting ciguatera poisoning after eating the adult fish. Ciguatera poisoning? Uh-huh. Fishes that live near coral reefs are sometimes contaminated with a poison known as ciguatera toxin. It apparently gives you food poisoning when you eat it. So I can't eat those big-eyed trevally? I don't know whether those trebly are contaminated with sacred terror or not, but use caution just in case. Gotta try it. Can't I can I swim under their life? I 
I'm a crocodile. Yeah, you can actually kill one of the bosses here early if you're fast. So then you never have to fight him, but I'm not going to do that. Because that fight is cool as shit. Come in, HQ. Fuck, it's so loud. This is HQ. Here. Hey, you. Is that a s a s a s Can I get a silencer, please, for this one? Go to sleep, dude. Just hey, you. 47, dude. Thank you. Right, Sorge. I actually went for a run today, which felt really good. But my coughing is way better after it. <sighs> um. Hello? Oh, there's a frog under there. Bullets, 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 bullets. All right, I'm going to try something here. If he dies, he dies. Don't care. Ah, it works. Try calling for support now, bitch. Oh, finally. Oh, um, sorry. You'll be fine. None of y'all gonna call for support now. Oh, SVD, Dragon of Sniper. Eat. Wait, can I blow this up too? To, to cripple them? Because I will. <laughs> You're not going to die to this. You'll be fine.
hair. <laughs> the water killed him, dude. He was still sleeping, dude. The water killed him, not me. Freeze. Uh. Yeah, it, it was actually a barrel that killed him. So I think it's actually accidental kill. I'm not even shitting you. Answer me. I think it's actually an accidental kill. If you stay low, you're hard to spot. Answer me. Directly under the flying platform is its blind spot. Freeze. Uh. Speed, give me stuff. Don't shoot me, please. Ah, do something then. Shake your ass. There you go. Oh, I ain't get anything. All right, brother. I'm out. Eat. See ya. So yeah, I actually don't think that death is is uh, is counts. Could be wrong. I don't really care. It's fine. Shit happens. But I think the barrel actually uh, killed him. I'm pretty sure it did. Hey, you. This is where you can kill one of the bosses, right here. I'm not gonna do it, no. Get your hands off me. I'm not going anywhere. Really now? How many times must I tell you? <laughs> Each time you resist, your lover will suffer the consequences. Is that clear? Forget that guy's terrible, dude. <laughs> Damn you! Hold it right there, traitor. Let's find out just how lucky you are. Watch closely. guns has a single bullet in it. I'm going to pull the trigger six times in a row. Are you ready? Uh. Hasn't run out yet. That's terrible, dude.
There's no such thing as luck on the battlefield. <laughs> hey, you! You'd better stay in line from now on. The Cobras will take care of him. Has the CIA dog been disposed of yet? The pain is dead. What? He may be a child, but he's definitely one of yours. I fear Khrushchev may have a hand in this. We have no time to lose. You must eliminate him before the final test. Don't worry. They'll be able to handle it. There he is. So you can actually kill the end here and then you skip the boss fight. <laughs> I'm leaving him to you, the fear. The old man is always sleeping. Is he all right? The end is saving what life he has left in him for battle. Normally, he's dead. But he'll wake up when the time is right. And when he does, it will be the end for the boy. Yeah. Sokolov isn't worth your love. You can entertain me until the rain stops. Kuwabara, Kuwabara. Uh. Sorrow, is that you? Oh. Wolver, thanks to the Fort Fire Brother. Thank you, man. So, here I could just kill the end if I wanted to, if I bring out my sniper and boom, boom, boom. But that fight is cool, so I will not death. Well, my frames here are a little... Can you swim? It's just the crocodile? Hell yeah. Yeah, Craig the Crippler. Thanks for that prime, brother. Thank you. God, I'm in an awful spot here. No, I'm not, because I actually have Silencer now, I just remembered. But I don't want to use it too much. Shit. Kuwabara, Kuwabara. Silencer for the wrong pistol! 
Wait, what? Oh, you can see me under there? Fucking eagle eyes, dude. Oh my god, you're still seeing me? Ugh. I thought I'd be fine there. For sure. Oh, f are you serious? the crocodile. We've lost sight of the intruder Good. going into high alert. Nice. <coughs> what the are you please swim. Swim, snake. Oh, fuck. There's like four guards here now. Oh, fuck. And a shield guy? Oh, God. Caution is rough. Oh, don't you come here. I'm just chilling. I have 75% camo here. Can I make it better? Doubt it. No. I'm a croc. No way they see me here. I'm literally a crocodile. I can't get up here with this caution. It's too tight. It's too goddamn tight, dude. I look at Metal Gear Solid this place. Metal Gear Rising? I'm sure there is some. Rosong. Yeah, there is definitely some. That one's pretty good. Hmm. Bit edgy. 33 seconds. I might as well wait now. Fuck it. I'm going to do Metal Gear Solid 4. Yeah, that's the last one I'm going to do. They are Red Velvet. Yeah. Almost there. <laughs> it's worth the wait, man. MGS5 has amazing gameplay, but yeah, the story. It's been so long, I don't really truly remember the story. I just remember the twist. I have three disc plates, yeah, but I'm gonna buy four more for the garage. For my dad. Good. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got that guy over there. We got one guy patrolling that. Boom, boom. Ooh. 
My frames are not here anymore. Oh, fuck off. Who's that? It's me, dude. Shut the fuck up. Speak. Get into the warehouse from the stairs on the right. Okay. Oh, what? The oh, Kuima. Are you? I'm in HQ. Shut up. This is HQ. Oh, my God. This Control here. Oh, my God. This is Enemy sighted. Oh, my Requesting backup. Oh, my God. Oh my god! 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 I almost like explode my heart almost exploded there from that shit. Holy fuck. Why does it suck you down like that? <laughs> oh, fuck. Hey, you. Yeah, DJM thanks for 51, dude. Thank you. <coughs> We've lost sight of the enemy. All right, Commence you go away. Uh, don't. Acknowledged. The enemy is still it's alive. just a box, Assuming dude. Future. I'm not gonna wait for this caution now. Oh. Get up. Well, maybe I will. There's no way I can run in here without getting caught at this point. What's wrong? I'm not waiting for this caution, it's not happening. Go away, I have a game plan, but you need to move. Oh, fuck. No, no! Go out on the pier again. <laughs> no, no, no. Huh? I'm just a box, dude. Who's that? No, give him a box back. Oh, new no, job. Yeah. Okay, I gotta run. I can't do this. Holy shit. God. All because I got sucked into the water twice. That was actually so triggering, dude. <laughs> oh, I was trying to seek you see him, and then it's like, nope, jump into the water. Jump into the water. Oh my god, leave me alone!
Don't you dare. I'm just a bot. I see him. Can you fuck off? from them <laughs> like the when you're caught you're just fucked <laughs> right, i'm in here now though when we're good reset the situation i'm never getting caught in this game again i, I got caught because i got scammed there i i got so fucking scammed in the water Kuyima, dude. Scam the shit out of me. They're all downstairs, I'm pretty sure. Let's do this. Trying to not waste my, uh, my silencer too much. There's two guards here. You gonna turn? What the fuck? I saw him. Where was my freeze? <laughs> just kill me. I'm just gonna die. Why was there no freeze there? Come on, man. Oh, I'm just gonna die. Uh, like this now. Well, I didn't get caught there. <laughs> I tried to freeze, man. Ah! Uh, I tried to do the the freeze, man. The freeze. It's no work. Maybe I was too. I, I was probably too. Um. I don't know. I guess I was too far away from him, or something. I support us there. I think I saw something. Yeah, come and check it then, bitch. We'll see what happens, yeah? Huh. Guess I'm seeing things. Oh, there's one guy up there. Okay. Good. Bro, that's right in your chin. Three, two, one. Just my imagination. Just my imagination. He has a big... What's wrong? Freeze. That's right. Please don't. No, I will. I fucking will. You're coming with me. Give me, give me some answers. Bitch. Answer me. Request to call off alert 142.48. Answer me. 
bastard. Oh yeah, you want some of this? <laughs> Fuck you. Can I blow this up? For stuff? I can, right? I'm sure I can. And I will. Call off alerts, yeah. You see a suppressor? I don't see a suppressor. I don't think so. Unless... No. Fuck you and your radio. How about that, hmm? You like that? can catch the legendary Sushiko Sushinoko snake. Oh, in this area? Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, a different type of frog. Come here, little frog. <laughs> With rat traps? Or do you just put them out, like, randomly? Put trap and hope for best, okay. You got some instant noodles, huh? Wait, I did? Oh. Instant noodles. Uh-huh. It was invented in Japan just recently. Add some hot water and it's ready to eat. It's cheap and can be stored for a long time. And besides, it's delicious. It's like a miracle food. Wow. Speaking of which. Yeah. Are you going to eat that? I was planning on it, yeah. Oh, all right. Is there some reason I shouldn't? No, that's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? I was just going to say that if you weren't going to eat it, <laughs> you should bring it back to me. I've always wanted to try some. Whatever. Wait, you have to kill all the animals in the area first? That's a lot of animals, isn't it? <laughs> Yo, there's like a fucking monkey climbing over there. Mine now. Oh yeah, the frog. I didn't get the I didn't do the frog. I forgot about it. I see you've captured a poison dart poison frog. Poison dart frog. The poison dart frog is native to the tropical rainforest of Central and South America. They normally grow between two and five centimeters in length, but for some reason, the ones in that area seem to be much bigger than that. Poison dart frogs are known to carry a potent neurotoxin called pomeliotoxin. Long ago, people used the poison to coat their arrows for hunting. Watch out, because if you eat one, you'll get food poisoning. Let's not eat one, then. A squirrel. I've already eaten that, but th this is a squirrel, not a flying squirrel. Hey, so. you. Karoma, thanks for six months. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Happy year. When you get shot, you'll sometimes okay, no, suffer I a gunshot the wound. One. The chance of suffering a serious injury is especially high. Yeah. These are traps, clearly. I'm not falling for that. So you just lay out traps. 
How do you even do that? Um. Mouse trap here. Yeah, there's no guard here. That's good. Cause I'm about to throw a fucking poison frog in him. I gotta eat a bunch of food, though. I'm eating everything. Not everything, but. This tastes great. Yeah. I'm stuffed. Hmm. A cobra. Can't complain. Okay, that's cool. Oh, cage full. Uh. I'll eat a giant anaconda. Tasty. And a flying squirrel. <laughs> Not so great. Uh. Hey, man. I'm good. Ho hope you're well. <laughs> All right, so I just got to put cages out. It's a fucking rabbit. Die. I'm still in a, a sparrow. Mine now. Give me that. I see you've captured a magpie. A magpie. Magpies are members of the crow family. They're distinguishable by their beautiful dark blue and white bodies and their long tails. Their favorite food is insects, but they'll also eat small fish, acorns, and fruit. They're omnivores, which means... They'll eat anything. Right. Well, you can't Just catch like a snake you, in this right? area? What? If you use the tranquilizer gun, you should be able to capture magpies alive. Okay. So how do they taste? You always ask me that. Naturally. So? I've never heard of anybody actually eating a magpie, but I suppose there's no reason you couldn't. You don't say. Oh. Wait, so you actually can't get the, ca get the snake here. I see people saying different things now. And I don't even know where my cages are, so rip. Oh, these are just mouse traps, though. No way I can get the snake with this. Oh. oh. Oh, fuck. I don't remember where I put the last one. <laughs> uh, there, I see it. Yeah. I'll put him down. Oh yeah, there's a higher chance I get it if I kill the animals. Slice, 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 slice. Kill all the animals. Ha <laughs> ha. Murder and death. Oh, that's a trap. Let's not step in that. Yo, there's a dude that got fucked there. Jesus.
Wait, what scab? Oh shit. <laughs> now nah, I'm just murdering everything here. I just want to get the snake. I want to see what happens. Death. Am I doing non-lethal MGS4 too? Uh, I'm not sure. Don't know yet. It's kind of fun. I mean, I just kind of roll with it. I've pretty much killed a guy this place. I don't really care. I'm just rolling with it. Disgusting. I gotta eat the shark. Hmm? You can eat too much. Yeah, I think he throws up then. Okay, I've killed a bunch of animals. Give me my snake. Yo, I got something in my cage over there. What do I get? Snake F? How do I know if it's the one? Damn. Oh, it says to Shuniko. Like, okay, I'm gonna eat the bird. Gross. <laughs> Snake F. Frog C. So, it's gonna say the Sushuniko snake, which is like, the ra the rare rare animal, yeah? I can get up here. Ah. Any animals that want death? No? Aha! Yep. Wait, so I can reload the area for fast catches, I was told to. Yo, Ronak, thank you, dude. Jesus, happy new year, man. Are we killing every animal? It, it's, there's a higher chance you get the rare snake. Uh, apparently, if you kill the animals. So, apparently, I can just reload the area back and forth like this. And it works or something. Hello, Lestarius. Yeah, the snake won't show up on thermals. It's just something you're catching with uh, in cages, I guess. Let's see now. I, I just want to get get one to see because I, I I didn't even know there was like a rare animal like that in this game. Oh, no capture. No, when all the frogs have respawned. The school thing. Frog die. <laughs> Come 
Come on, come on, come on. Me murder animals. Wow. That sounds like a psychopath. Well, great. Um, karma. A cut. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, wait, what? I get a movie. Ow. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Mud. <laughs> this game is so good. I think it'll take me three streams to beat it. Because I do a lot of radio combos and stuff. Dude, I can't wait for Sons of the Forest to come out. That's going to be epic. Yeah, Thrill, I know about it. <laughs> when does it come out? Uh, I don't remember. It's like early <laughs> this year. Hey, Wired Donkey. Uh, not too often at the moment. I used to do them like a lot years ago. But yeah, I just got done speedrunning Hitman. <laughs> so now I'm chilling a little bit. Because running Hitman is pain. Hey, you. And suffering. Steven, thanks for the one year, man. Jesus. Thank you, thank you. <coughs> I will do <coughs> MGS4, yeah. I'm killing the animals because it makes it a higher chance for the rare snake to show up. Apparently. Ah! Me eat snake, me eat food. Uh... I don't think you need to pick up the traps and arm them again, do you? Or maybe you do. Nah, that'd be weird. I feel like the trap would then be picked up automatically when you pick up the the bait. Or yeah. No, oh, I'm sinking. No, nah, Fapa. I'm killing the things in the area because supposedly it gives it a higher chance for the the snake to appear. Supposedly. How long can this take to grab anyway? It can't be that bad, is it? I got streamer luck. Hmm. I can't take another bite. Really? Oh, it's because he's full. Come on, little snake. Maybe it's not worth doing it here. Maybe there's a better area. Seems to take a while. But I come back here anyways, don't I? So I can just move on. I think I've killed most animals now so i pretty much just have to run around like an idiot and uh hope it gets captured from the vicky oh really okay i i can re-put the traps i'll just do that Okay, look at this. 
See? Now there's bait on it. Yeah, you have to re-put them. You have to re-put the traps. And now, no bait. Come on, little snake. I want to see what the radio call is about and what you taste like. Oh my god, it's almost midnight. What the fuck? Oh yeah, the bird above the rock. True. You must die. Well, I guess he's gone. Oh, he died. Or some. Ah! Aha! Sushinko snake! Hey, you. I'm getting animals all the time now. I hear them. Fuck. Stupid Russian ration, stupid Russian glow cap. Stupid. Sick. Yeah. I'm stuffed. Okay, I don't need any more. Cage full. What the fuck do I have in my cages? Oh no, it's in my it's in the food thing. Here. Uh 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 dispose, dispose, dispose. A squirrel? How the fuck does that happen? Another squirrel, disgusting. Hmm. One. I have to capture this snake before I cut the stream now, because now I'm too committed. Two. Oh yeah, that one was already set, but whatever. Three. It's a waiting game. Hmm. Do -do 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 -do. I haven't looked at your gift yet, Ragnar. No, I can check it now. What'd you give me? Ah! Wet girl, can we watch this video? Thanks, brother. This video is ten minutes long. What the fuck is going on here? Why do he, does he not see him? What the hell? <laughs> what the? Hold up, I gotta check my traps. Oh, the traps! Aha! Is that the Chichinoko snake? Boo! Chichinoko snake? Goddamn squirrels everywhere, dude. Fuck off. Ah! Stupid squirrels. Bum bum. Bum, bum. Oh, can you actually get up on this one? 
Skividdles all over the shop. I mean, there's some fruit there. Which I've already tried though, I'm pretty sure. Oh, is there a dude there? Cool. He's already dead, right? He's gotta be. Do you have gear? <gasps> God damn it. There's only squirrels here. Stupid squirrels, man. Squirrel. 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 Are you the one stepping in my trap all the time, eh? Okay, I'm guessing there's a bird sitting somewhere. Oh, whoops. No good. Oh, it's you. I see you. Now what, huh? Anyone else want some? Hmm? What am I looking for? There's a rare animal, a rare snake you can capture here. I just want to do that and see what happens. Aha! Snake F. Snake F. Yeah, I can check that sonar thing. Uh, what is that? Backpack gear. The anti personnel sensor. Oh, I always think those are the equipped items. Hey, you. Oh, you don't have sonar on hard. 
Okay, well, I know for a fact there's some dude. There's a snake up in the tree somewhere I gotta shoot down, I think. Or yeah. It... Come on. I'm too committed. I have to get this. <gasps> Is that the one? I have a weird feeling about this one. Oh. Come on, little Tukinoko. Where are you? Aha! Green tree python. Woo! <laughs> ah! Oh shit, that scared the fuck out of me. Um, great. Snake, have you been caught in a snare trap? <laughs> yeah. If you don't get down from there soon, the enemy might spot you. I know that. Then why don't you get yourself down? How am I supposed to do that? It should be obvious. If you get caught in a snare trap, press the action button. That will allow you to cut the rope. Hurry and free yourself before the enemy comes around. Yeah, Riku. Uh, I mean, Elden Ring, I'm going to try run for sure. Thanks for the six months. And Brinkley, thanks, Steven. Thanks for the one year anniversary, dude. And Zizar, thanks for the 18. Thank you. It won't appear if you're in the area. Wait, what? That, that would be weird. If that's the case. Oh, well. Great. A burn? Hmm. <coughs> hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm only getting snake F. Stupid snake F. I mean, it, it it must be able to appear now, right? I am getting stuff a lot. But it's only snake F. Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure there is like a snake up in the tree somewhere. Last boss I did, uh, the pain. Snake F. Oh, let me guess. Snake F. Dude, I'm catching stuff all the time now.
Where's that goddamn snake at? Aha, I see you! There you are, you little fucker! Ah. Now, I think I've killed everything in this forest, all right? The only thing left is the Sushinko snake. Right? That's because it got captured after I uh, before I shot. Now we wait. I'm going to eat you. Too bad. There's no other animal left in this jungle. I've killed them all. Anything that gets captured now is going to be it. Yeah, maybe it doesn't work like this. Because I'm not getting any captures at all. But it's supposed to be rare, so... I mean, I could leave the area, I guess. Shop, 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 shop. Feels like hunting a shiny in Pokemon. Aha! There it is. A shiny, dude. A shiny. Where's my last trap? Oh, yeah, I put it in here. Gotta call paramedic now, yeah. Snake, you caught a Tsuchinoko. What? Is it true, Snake? Yeah. Way to go, my man. You really are the boss's apprentice. Yes, it looks like sending you in Don't was worth it. it after all. Hurry up and finish your mission and then bring it back to us. Under no circumstances are you to eat it. Is oh, that clear? Oh, okay. <sighs> Why do you... Do you get a bonus if you don't eat it? It's almost like you need to capture two rare snakes. What does it look like? Ooh. Cool. That was fun. Oh, it's infinite ammo face paint if you finish the game with it. Oh. I could save and eat, I guess. Oh, I should probably anyway. It's fucking midnight, dude. This is the good area to stop, also. Full stamina recovery. Hmm. That's some good progress, you though. You save? Hold on a sec. Some great progress. Snake eater. <laughs> Snake eater. Hmm. I got the snake right at midnight, yeah. That was funsies. Snake, have you heard of The Last War? Never seen it. Nope, doesn't ring a bell. It's a Japanese movie where the world ends in a nuclear war. You didn't know, Tensions okay. Tensions between East and West reach the breaking point, and before anyone can stop it, they launch the ICBMs. Humanity is wiped out by a war that no one wanted. The movie depicts that destruction from the eyes of ordinary people. Their simple daily lives are torn apart by the terrible power of a war that has nothing to do with them. Everybody's afraid of the next big war. 
But there's only so much that one person can do. That's why the people who have the power to stop it have to. Killing all the animals worked, by the way. That's interesting. It actually did work. Good stuff. And I can continue here. I should play that at some point. I do. Oh, shit. Dogs and stuff here. I give my life. Not for honor, but for you. Holy shit, there is a lot of guards here. Hey, you. How will I play for? I'm going to emulate it. I'll do the good old emulation. Oh, fuck. We got the rare snake yesterday. That was cool. Oh, have I like... There it is. Sushinoko. You got to finish the game with hey, that one. You. And you get like bonuses or something. Okay, there's a hole in the fence there. Is this a poisonous snake? You can't emulate him just for his area. People already do it. So it does work for sure. I have a silencer. Yeah, I found one. Oh, that's a silencer too before the wrong gun. <laughs> I have a lot of silences for that one. I'm still in a dream. Snake eater. Hey, you. Stuff under the truck, brother. Hey, you. I'm 95% camo here. Still haven't played MGS5. Is there a reason you're not going to play it? Because, like, the finale of MGS4 is so nice to stop on. MGS5 takes place, like, after MGS3, I think, chronologically. I like stopping. There. And the game isn't even, like, fully, like, done or whatever. There's, like, massive, like, story parts missing. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing is wrong. Any silencers here? Hey, Zukaza. Black Luigi, thanks for that 21. Yo, happy new year, dude.
Oh, I slipped them in such a good spot. Can this be a silencer? It's just ammo, isn't it? That's good, though. I need that. Neat. Metal Gear Survive is the crown jewel of the series. Yeah. This is on emulator I'm playing. Go and check on your friend. I'm sure what's wrong. Freeze. 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 Answer me. Fire support request 149.84. Thanks. Oh. No, wait. Fair enough. Oh my god. Take your stuff. Please don't. Uh. The balcony, he says. What's in here? Armory, eh? Oh, XM. I don't know what I'm going to do here. We're going to blow this, blow, blow this joint up. Yeah, this game is amazing. It's very good. I'm doing non-lethal, yeah, but I might have killed one guy, but that's fine. It is what it is. It happens. All right, I'm going in. Actually, I'm going to see if there's another entrance here. The thing is, I don't think... Why did you blow that up? Uh, it's their armory. So if you blow up their armory, they have like worse and less ammo and stuff. Oh, you can crawl in under here, yeah. Way more. All right, I'm going in here. Fuck it. 
Yeah, this is the lab right now. What is that? Poogly Poog, thanks for the 41, dude. Thank you. Onyama face. What is that? Oh. Hmm. Hey, Trisse. I, I know. <laughs> Oh, call paramedic with this? Really? Looks like you're in a building. If people are living there, there's bound to be people food. People food? Oh god, it's on Soviet the military rations. It beats eating raw snakes and mushrooms all the time, doesn't it? I'm getting to like raw snake and mushroom. You really are turning into an animal. <laughs> when is Trista coming back? I, I guess Trista's streaming tomorrow. Snake, whatever happens to you, make sure you leave a descendant, okay? I gotta call Sigmund, I think. Are you saying you want to have my baby? No. I'm saying that in the 21st century, the genes of soldiers like you are going to be in high demand. Genes? Uh-huh. Remember when Watson and Crick discovered the double helix structure of DNA back in 1953? Ah, no. You know, they won the Nobel Prize in Medicine for it the year before last. Of course, you have to feel sorry for Pauling and Franklin. They were researching the exact same thing. Sorry, I don't follow. Inside every living creature are little blueprints called genes. Through the union of the sperm and egg cells, these blueprints are transformed and inherited by the next generation. That's why parents and children resemble each other. The concept of genes was first proposed over a hundred years ago by Mendel, but he didn't know what they were exactly. For a while, it was thought that chromosomes were composed not of deoxyribonucleic acid, but of proteins called polypeptides. Later, it was shown that deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, was a biological macromolecule. Hey, then 11 you. years ago, Watson and Crick discovered that DNA had a double helix structure. Yeah, this is all fascinating stuff, but what exactly does it have to do with me? The inherent characteristics of any given individual are determined by his or her genes. By duplicating a set of superior genes, a separate body with the same set of characteristics, a clone can be created. But genes don't control a person's fate. That's true. But having an offspring that's genetically identical to the parent is more efficient, right? You can expect better results Hey, than you! Way. More efficient? You can't mass-produce human beings. Maybe, but now that we know the true nature of genes, human cloning is that much closer to reality. Nuclear transplanting is gay. already theoretically possible, so one day... My genes are going to be a valuable commodity. Exactly. Hey, you! They'd never let that happen. Just think. Oh, I was answering dies, Brenna's question. <laughs> survive and go on to bigger and better accomplishments. If you think about it, it's kind of an honor. Does that kind of technology seriously appeal to you? Well, I am a doctor. Hmm. I can't condone it on moral grounds, but I'm fascinated by the possibilities. Especially when I see such an excellent specimen as yourself. Yeah, well, thanks for the compliment, but it doesn't make me feel any better. Don't be so glum. It's not like it's going to happen anytime soon. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, I think it's Sigan I got to call about this. <laughs> so you're wearing the black camouflage. The black uniform isn't really camouflage. It was intended to have a psychological shock effect on enemies and hostage rescue operations and stuff like that. But it should also make you pretty hard to see if you wear it in a dark environment. And it might also work on black, earthy surfaces like you'd find in swamps. Okay, but my face mask. Snake, what's with that face paint? It's called Oyama. Oyama? Yeah, it's the name of an androgynous Japanese deity. Are you serious? That's what I heard. From who? Paramedic. Never mind. In any case, that face paint doesn't seem to work very well. Your camo index is way down. Unless you want the enemy to see you, I change to something else. Oh. Okay. Let me guess. You were just getting to like it. It kind of grew on me. Fine. Get yourself shot. Wow. Javier, thanks to the 33, hey, man, and Condemned Taran, thanks to the 4, Hotep 13. 
Jesus. Hey, Georgie, thanks for the 25. Thank you. Yeah, I was told that's the DARPA chief from one. Wait, if I'm in the lab now, can't I use the lab suit then? Hey, you! What? Oh, they see you like that? That's crazy! <laughs> I was fucked there no matter what, dude. <laughs> Actually, no, I think I can wear the lab uniform. I think I can wear the lab uniform. Wait! Wait, we have a call! To call off the, the alert. Oh shit, what was it? Ah. 14258? Was it? Should write these down. That nah, wasn't it. 14278? One four nine eighty four. One four nine eighty four. I see some people say, okay. I saw chat. <laughs> one four eight sixty three. Why didn't I write these down yesterday? <laughs> I, okay, f I give up. Fuck this. <laughs> you guys are just writing random numbers. <laughs> As a big thanks to 80, man. Thank you. I think I saw something. Huh? Right there? 14694. The thing is, I'm not on alert anymore, but I could try it. 14694, huh? This is not gonna work either. What? Oh. oh. Hmm. Oh, yeah, shit, I have the face paint on. <laughs> The thing is, I think I'm fine if I just put on the, uh, the suit here. I might need to wait for caution to go away, though. If I put on the, uh, scientist suit here, we're good. I don't know about the face, though. No paint. Still gonna wear the bandana, I suppose. On um, aha! But I don't know if I can do this when I'm in caution, though. It's only one way to find out, isn't it? cool stuff here yes a silencer oh that feels like heaven when you find one it's so good okay i can't let anyone bump into me because they can find they can reveal my disguise
Oi! A oh, freak is the number changes according to area. Okay. I gotta eat something. Instant noodle. Mm, delicious. <sighs> so, yeah, that was me. Sorry, I accidentally pressed circle. I'm just a scientist, all right? Oh, there's a spider on the wall. I want to eat it. Washing my hands, I guess. Oh, if you if you press triangle, you can do your like glasses. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for caution to go away. Canceling the alert. Return to your position. What's she gonna say about this? I see you've caught a cobalt blue tarantula. The cobalt blue tarantula is a poisonous spider with a highly potent venom. If you get bitten, go into the survival viewer immediately and use cure to administer a serum injection. But? There are many different varieties of tarantulas. The cobalt blue is part of a group called earth tigers. They build their nests mainly underground and are highly aggressive. Their uh, diet consists of not only insects, but also mice and even snakes. Interesting. So, how do they taste? Are you really going to eat them? Naturally. So? It says here they're not very good. Damn. Don't act so surprised. Isn't it obvious? Why would it be obvious? It's a spider, for goodness sake. A big one, but still a spider, and there's not much to it. Yeah. If only it were as big as the one in Earth vs. the Spider. The what? Earth vs. the Spider. It's a movie about this gigantic spider. When it's small, it's about 15 feet wide. But when it's big, it's about 35 feet wide. What do you mean when it's small and when it's big? The size changes from scene to scene. It happens all the time. Huh. Give me a silencer. Fuck. This game is filled with movie reviews because Kojima is a movie nerd. <laughs> Every time you save, you get a movie review. Oh, this is where the balcony is you can escape from. Uniform choco chip. Okay, that's good to know. Break last door in restroom is new camo. Oh, is there? Oh. Kind of want to get some info out of this guy. Actually, I want to get that spider alive and throw it on someone. Fly uniform? What the hell does that look like? Ah, okay. Great. It's stinky, dude. One forty four sixty three is a music channel. Wait, what?
interesting. I guess this refills your stamina or something. Oh, look at this. Oh, these are radio channels. Cool. Healing radio. Oh. Cool. Oh, I could blow this up. Fuck their food supply up. Hey, you. It's a very risky, though. It's a little bit risky to do. Well, not really. But it will make everyone into caution, which can be annoying. But it does fuck them all up. I gotta call Sigint with that with a poop one, right? Call Sigint with this. Oh, there's actually flies around me, I just noticed. Looks like you've got some TNT. Uh, that's not what you're supposed to talk about. TNT is short for trinitrotoluene, a pale yellow crystalline compound made from a trinitrified mix of nitric acid and sulfuric acid. It's used throughout the world as a military explosive. It has a low sensitivity and is chemically stable, making it easy to handle. It's also got a low melting point and can easily be shaped by boiling or steaming it. But because the sensitivity is so low, you need a booster to actually get it to explode. No problem. It came with its own remote control detonator. Good. Then all you have to do is press the weapon button to place the TNT, and then press the CQC button to set it off. Below, thanks to 46. The man. map Thank screen you. in the survival viewer will display the locations where you've planted TNT. Take warning, though. The radio signal for the detonator is pretty weak. Don't forget that pressing the CQC button will only set off TNT that's planted in the same area. Right. Ah, you're wearing the mask. Oh, he hasn't talked about this I either. made it myself. Pretty good work, don't you think? A while back, they were planning to disguise someone as this one Gru officer and send them in to steal some secret documents. I created the mask for that operation. But then the mission ended up being canceled. And then the Major came and told me to throw it out. Can you believe that guy? But you didn't throw it out. Are you kidding? Tossing a superior quality product like that into the garbage without using it will be an insult to science. So I decided to use it to hide your face from the crew of the gunship during the Virtuous mission. Okay, but is it really that big of a deal? Of course it is. What's so great about it? Everything. But if I had to pick one reason, I'd have to say it's because it's the first mask ever that can blink its eyes. What about the lips? What's that? Can it open its mouth? <laughs> That's a good one, Snake. <laughs> you crazy, man. I'm serious. Are you even listening to me, Snake? Where's your common sense? Damn. <laughs> Sorry. The camo index located in the top right oh, he, corner he doesn't of the react to my tells you if thing. your outfit is getting the job done. The higher the value of this index... He doesn't react to my poop thing. I heard you fought against KGB troops in the Virtuous Mission. Yeah. Refresh codec? Okay, I'm gonna try that. See if that works. React to me! So you've got your uniform and your face paint, but that yeah, alone okay. isn't enough to make for good camouflage. Camouflage means blending in with nature. To it is what it is. We're good. We'll use just you scientist. This is HQ. What's going on? The enemy is attacking from an unknown position. In the status. Acknowledge. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Oh, the frog is up there. Huh. Oh, 
shit, this guy can see my disguise. Oh, fuck. Am I allowed in here? Actually. Oh, so many goodies in there, dude. Spoder. Wait, that's a different spider, I think. Cool. Caution is actually insane in this game. I'm so hungry. Oh, he's complaining about food because I bombed their food shelter. I haven't eaten in so long. Yeah. I haven't eaten in so long. SVD and MK22 ammo. Oh, I don't really need it. Hey, you. There's a vent there. Hello. Oh, yeah, there's definitely a vent down there. Is he gonna just repeat this over and over and over and over and over? So Holla, hungry. thanks for the six months, man. Thank you. Vents in every cell. I could throw him some uh, spider, and then he's gonna eat it, and then he's gonna die. Ah, fuck. Behind the door. I'm so hungry. Hey, you. I haven't been in so long. Ben, thanks for the forty one. Happy New Year, man. <laughs>
Yeah, I was just crouching, dude. Hey, stop! Okay, I'll stop. Chill. Get back to work. I can't. You're mo you're standing in the way. Brother, you got to move. Dude, without when I'm in this uniform, shit. What? How do you know? Oh, fuck off. Oh, but dude, I got so fucked there. God damn it. I might still be fine, though. Hey, you. Just a scientist. What's wrong? Oh. Get me the fuck out of here. Oh. Fuck. I'm famished. Ah. I need to find the thing I'm looking for here. Which is probably this way. Okay, this is good. I haven't been here. Whew. I like this area. Quick Ben, <laughs> thanks 70. Did I? Oh, this Ben and then Quick. Yeah, thanks 70, man. Happy New Year, dude. I'm on the other side of this now, yeah. Yo, chill. Everyone fucking chill. Oh my god. I'm so hungry. Oh, there might be a silencer in there. I'm so hungry. Sig gas spray? A gas spray gun disguised as a cigarette puts enemy to sleep? Wait, what? Cool. You can use that as a scientist? Okay, I'll wait for this.
so hungry. Hi Ella, sorry for to disturb you but my year did not start. Well my dog Axel was 6 years old this year and he is p feels good man away. The worst thing is I paid £1,150 one week ago and they told me he is fine. But he pee a pie up the day before my birthday that are tomorrow. Yeah, B-Day. My condolences man, I'm sorry to hear that dude. Jeez. Knockout handkerchief? Thank you, man. Thank you. The world is so unfair, yeah. Thank Huggies all around, dude. Another thing. Oh, Juliet. Thanks for the... the... the prime. Someone said punch punch the uh the book on the thing. I gotta remove oh, what am I doing? I gotta remove the camo. Oh, hey, Snake is back. Metal Gear 3. Oh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Give him hell, Snake. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 2. Cool. Game Informer, Metal Gear Solid uh, 3. This looks like an important room. Uh, hey, Lady Victoria, I'm Swedish, actually. Uh, actually, actually, actually. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Oh, I was supposed to go here. Nice. Hey, Polar, someone. If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. Hey, thank you. I'm glad you like him, Lady Victoria. Put that thing away. You'll spoil my drink. So, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. And who are you? You mean you've never heard of me? And you call yourself an agent? Very well, then. I am Alexander Leonovich Granin. A man of some importance, if I do say so myself. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. 
This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. It was I who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS-1C. Ah. You're crocked, aren't you? The dark prize happened here. I'm merely drowning my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him? Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. Look. It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system, a bipedal tank. A bipedal tank? Yes, a walking tank, a robot. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? Well, this technology <laughs> will be the missing link between infantry and artillery. A kind of metal gear, if you will. And this magnificent metal gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. Metal gear? <laughs> but I won't be used so easily, no. No crying myself to sleep. For you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. What? These bastards will live to regret this. And when they themselves become the targets of my creation, they will know my true greatness. Yes, Sokolov's pathetic shagohad pales in comparison to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? About Sokolov. A tank does not need a rocket. It needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. No. Legs. Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? But, what fool's in charge, chose Sokolov. And where is Sokolov? My project has been terminated. The philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about? The philosopher's legacy. Haven't you heard of the philosophers? The Colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Rolgin's father was in charge of the Philosopher's money laundering activities. In the confusion of the war, he somehow ended up with their treasure. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. We never need to worry about the military budget. The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. The funding for my research came out of that legacy. Came out of it. Now, my money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohad project. Tomorrow, they will be conducting the final test, while Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the Great Fortress of Grozny Grad, 
Here I am, playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. That's where they moved Sokolov? Yes. And the Shagahot is there too? Of course. Hmm. Hey! You're not thinking of going to Grozny Grad. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. I'm sure it is. You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait. What? Listen to me, you fool. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. What compliment? My shoes. Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. In return, I ask only that you get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohad. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. Head for the mountains. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this. Hmm. He's obviously not telling Snake this due to him complimenting his you shoes, by the way. You passed through a warehouse <laughs> on your way here, didn't you? Yeah. There should have been a locked door inside. It seemed it. like some people in chat thought Do so. Do you remember it? Uh... This key will open that door. Okay. Backtrack. Beyond that door lies the vast jungle. You can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. Use the key to open the locked door and head for the mountains. Got it? Why are you helping me? Unlike Sokolov, the thought of defecting has never once crossed my mind. I love my country. I Go love on, this Sweden. land. I cannot even imagine living anywhere else. I wish to remain a hero of the great motherland. I cannot bear the thought of being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. You must hurry. I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer. To capitalism! Harbor and thanks to the three. Recon Suite 73 and Havoc Online 9. Thursday 39. Uncle Bear 6. Thank you guys. Hey, you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll pause my alerts during the cutscenes. <coughs> I gotta eat some. Hey, you. Just eat a python. I want some more. Damn, he loves those. Hey, you. Hey, you. All right, we got to backtrack now. Don't know if there's anything else hey, fun I can you. do in this base. Any, like, Easter egg or something. Get the rare mushroom from the indoor garden room. Where the vent is. <coughs> Oof, sorry. Hey, you. That's because of me. <laughs> okay, that's the main entrance. Um. Oh, oh, okay, this is that. I got the legendary snake, yeah, I did. Huh? Running away. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going back. Hey, stop. Wait, what? What the fuck? 
Okay. Why do they put me in jail? Man, we waited so long. Count Cookie, thanks, they eat. Thank you. Compared to your gulags, it's a five star hotel. My my bases are good. Oh, this is a rare mushroom. They're gonna see me change though. Oh yeah, I got something else. Thank you, Brenna. I know, right? I got like a handkerchief or something. Handkerchief. Handkerchief. Can't punch. Can't hey, punch you. sitting down. Oh, the traps you saw in the forest are to stop scientists from running away. Yeah. Yeah, true to this, that'd be fun. I'll do that with Ark again, too. Oh, I can kick it, probably. True. I see you found a Spatza. Spa. Spatza. Spatza. Right. Interesting name. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. So paramedic. What? What kind of mushroom is a spatza? Uh, you really want to know? I guess so. Okay, let's see. The spatza... Yeah? It's gray. Hmm. And it grows on the ground. Yeah, and? That's all. That's all? That's all the guide says. Okay, so I don't know that much about it. Why don't you eat one and see? It might be pretty tasty. Eat one and see. What do I look like, a lab rat? Shh. What? What did I say? What if the rats hear you? You'll hurt their feelings. <sighs> Gotta wait for this guard to get the fuck out of here. Eat it and call her? Oh, okay. I have a poison dart frog. Should probably not eat that. Huh. Spatza. This is really good. Oh, I I became sleepy. <clears throat> I'm asleep! Fuck! I can't do anything. Yeah, at least I won't get captured here, so that's good. There we go. We're back. Alright, let's call her again. Paramedic. Yeah? I ate one of those spots of mushrooms you were talking about. Really? How did it taste? I passed out. Seriously? Yeah. So that's why they call it the bringer of sleep. What? Oh, I looked the word Spatza up afterwards and found out it means bringer of sleep in Russian. Well... But anyway, the reason the Spatza puts you to sleep when you eat it is because it contains a type of anesthetic substance similar to an alkaloid. I'll bet if you pick one, you could soak it into a handkerchief to create a sleep. They do for me, Thirza. Eating a spatza and falling asleep might cause your life and stamina to recover as well. Why don't you find a safe spot and try it out? Well, I got to switch now. And then we got to backtrack. 
Morning, Metal Thug. What's up, dude? Ace Troll, thanks for the eighth month. Thank you. There's nothing here. Dude, this people clap is actually fucking adorable. I have 90% here, wow. Yeah, you are. Yo, can you go and investigate that guy? What's wrong? Good. Yeah, 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 thug. It's going well. It's going well. Ah, dude, I have so many silencers for that. Do I have to Never heard of him. What does this hanker do? Knockout handkerchief. Handkerchief with knockout medicine. Puts enemy to sleep in CQC. Hey, you. Wait, so just press square? What the fuck? Wait, you can roll on the ground while prone? Wait, what? How? Grab him from behind his weapon button. I could try that. I'm so hungry. Barbecue, pew pew! Thanks for the 25. Thank you. Oh god, I have like not much. Huh? Yeah. What was that? Nothing. 90% here, brother. No, he had some wheezy. I know about it though. No, it, I've played this on stream Nothing once here. before. 80%. That's good. Hey, you. Keep that 80, please. The Snake Eater and MGS2 back on peace now? No, it's not. Arturin, Arturin, thanks for the four, brother. Thank you.
Hey, you! Brazilian wandering spider. Soon a most exquisite pain will engulf your entire body. Your limbs will be paralyzed, your lungs cease to draw breath. Eventually your heart will stop beating. Ah, but what fun would that be? Not a fitting death at all. The boss's apprentice. I will give you fear such as you've never experienced before. Come into my web. It is time. For you to feel the fear. Fucking A. Well, we gotta cure ourselves here. Oh, suffering from a crossbow bolt wound. Uh, inject serum. Do I even have that? Shit. I do not. Ugh. Fuck. Oh, it's medicine here. Oh, right, yeah. There we go. That's better. How the fuck do you pull an arrow out? Removing bullets and arrows. Great. This has to work. There we go. Nice. Good as new. Tom, thanks for 21, dude. Thank you. Alright. Camo it up, I suppose. I need a bullet. <laughs> Badly. I have nothing left. Hey, you. Dinero. Yeah, he's scary, all right. He sounds like the Ardrin fan. Buy a zero, buy a zero, buy a zero. You're the grand champion. Suppose he does. Hey, you. But there must be some darts here.
Wait, he's regening his fucking stamina, I just realized. Um. Okay, I can see you see him, I suppose. Uh. How the hell? There's no ammo for this? Oh, he's eating the animals. That's how he's getting his stamina back. I do have stun grenades. I do. I have the cigarette spray and stuff too. I'll try it. Uh... Fuck, dude, I was one hit away from fucking him up, man. What is this? Burn? God damn, dude. Bandage. That's a splint. Ugh. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. Favorite type of noodle? Uh, not sure, dude. Okay, I got bullets again. That's good. I like the spicy noodles, even though they give you immense ring of fire. I'm gonna try to get a stun grenade on him when he chases me again. I gotta go for headshot. What the fuck? Shit, dude, this is rough. This ain't looking good, dude. These stupid ass arrows. Uh. I want some more. Don't region, you bitch. Where you at? No. Oh my god. Slut. Gonna feast again. If he feasts again, I can. I have two ammo, but if he feasts, I can stun grenade him. No! Oh my god, the whiff. Okay, you're gonna eat that.
Come and eat it then. Come on. What did you not get? Oh, you. Okay, that did fuck all. Actually, that was really good. Okay, that is really good. But you gotta get the. Oh, fuck. Now I'm out too, though. Ah. Uh, shit. Oh. I'm tired because I was up late watching him. What if I eat all your food before you do, huh? How about that, hmm? Hey, this works. Oh, he actually likes it now. He didn't like it before. I don't... Wait... I don't... Fuck! No! Yeah! Are you hungry? Want some food? I have to re-equip it again. Come here. Eat this. Oh, he's throwing up. But he's full again, though. Oh, for fuck. I need more poison dart frogs. I can't win it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Down, no, no. <sighs> Very interesting. Theorem, knife, boom, boom. I am gonna fuck you up. Just eat some mushrooms. I'm gonna throw this all over the fucking jungle. <laughs> Reticulated python? Oh, I have one right there. Just pick up. More. I gotta just eat more. Eat more shit. What is this? Disgusting. Zarr. Let's see how you handle all my food, motherfucker. Here we go. No, I'm playing an emulator. When he's throwing up, I'm gonna throw a stun grenade at him and then combo him. That dealt a lot. Oh, 
All right, here we go. That should be good enough. Fuck, I'm have a dart inside me. Ugh. Boom, boom, boom. Do I have a stun grenade equipped? I don't think I do. I do not. Stun. Stun. Great. Hey, nerdy, what's up, man? The fear! The fear! I see it! The fear! Going all right, nerdy. Just killed the fear. Getting there. Interesting, though. Yeah. Hey, you. Uh, feeding him poison frogs, and then just like meleeing him dealt so much. Uniform spider. Oh yeah. What's what's the speedrun strat? Or like, I know there's always like uh, there's always cool shit you can do in fights, like. To make him real fast. Ooh. Damn. All right, so this one. Fast, fast, non-lethal kill. Fake death pill. Yeah. What? <laughs> Just when the real fear was about to begin. Revival. Stone grenade. Patriot. But I mean, you don't have. I I don't have a patriot though. That's a chi that's a cheap weapon. <laughs> Isn't that like a new game plus or something? Insane cheap weapon. You can just use the AK. Oh, but isn't that? Oh yeah, it didn't drain his health meter there. Any machine gun works. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. It's a glitch. Oh, stun grenade makes all physical damage go to stamina. Oh, that's what's happening. Okay. Oh, my stamina is getting fucked by this. That's why it's so good, this one. Okay, I get it. It's a good camo, but it just eats everything. Oh, I'm not gonna be zombieing. Splitter. Yeah, Derriman, thanks for the nine. Heist 20. Strolly 38, thank you. And Paris is thank you. Kropi. Any plans to do Morrowind? No, not right now, Kropi. Not right now. Oh yeah, I call Sigin with it. Right, yeah, let's call Sigin with this.
illegal answer. <laughs> Sigand, Granin said something about putting legs on a tank. Oh. Do you know what he was talking about? If you ask me, it's gotta be a joke. Not only is making a tank walk on two legs I don't want to be full of errors for the cutscene. But there's no point in making a walking tank to begin with. I saw people say that. Putting but... legs on a tank would raise its clearance, increasing its frontal projection area. It'd also be less stable. Suppose the legs help the tank travel on bad roads. I, I don't see the logic in that. Isn't that what treads are for? I mean, anybody who'd seriously consider making a thing like that has got to be a wacko. Nice, Vesmo. Come to think of it. There was a guy in the States who wrote a paper on that subject. What was his name? Uh, Heinrich? Something like that. I don't really remember. Of course, no one took that seriously. <laughs> Sigand, Granin was saying that Sokolov's research project was a tank fitted with rockets. Uh-huh. Do you have any idea what he meant? Sorry, beats me. I wonder if it's supposed to increase the tank's mobility, or maybe give the tank short-range missile launching capability. But you're sure it has something to do with Phase 2 of the Shagohod, right? Yeah. Khrushchev traded Cuba just to get this thing finished, and Volgin blew up a Soviet research facility to get his hands on it. Whatever it is, it's gotta be big. Okay, but what about my spider outfit? Hey, you... Second. Do you know anything about that philosopher's legacy? Hey, Joker, thanks for living, man. About? Thank you. Not a clue. Never even heard of something like that until now. Right. One thing's for sure, though. Vogan's got a huge amount of money stashed away somewhere. Philosopher's legacy, huh? Maybe it is real. But my camo. That Order of Lenin that Granin was talking about is the most prestigious award in the Soviet Union. It's given to individuals, organizations, and cities for outstanding achievements in warfare, science, industry, the arts, and various other fields. You could say it's the highest honor the East has to give. Hmm. You say Granin was involved in the development of the SS-1C. The SS-1C is the Soviet's newest short-range tactical ballistic missile. Based on what Western intel has been able to gather, it's capable of being launched from a mobile platform. A mobile platform? Yeah. It's a transport vehicle that functions as an erector and a launcher. It can travel on roads, then erect and launch a missile from any location. Of course, in addition to conventional explosives, the missiles could also be fitted with chemical or even nuclear warheads. A nuclear missile that can be launched from any location? I'll bet it wasn't the missile itself that Granin helped develop. More likely, it was the mobile platform. From what I've heard, the SS-1C is set for actual deployment as early as next year. That's bound to send a chill down NATO's spine. Chills? Okay, but my, my camo? Tell me something, Sigand. What's that? What does Sigand mean, anyway? It's short for Signal Intelligence. He's not gonna signal react to this. Intelligence. The part of intelligence that deals with electronic information. Things like intercepting and analyzing electronic communications. Determining hey, enemy you. force strength and positioning from radar emissions and radio chatter. It's you equipped, get the yeah. idea. Code breaking is considered part of SIGINT as well. Forty years from now, we'll be in the age of electronic warfare. It won't be long before information replaces firepower as the most valuable commodity on the battlefield. So you're saying they won't need guys like me anymore? Sorry to break it to you, but that's not gonna happen. No matter how advanced our technology gets, there's still no substitute for human beings. Hmm. Anyway, the Major is a man of foresight. He knew the electronic age was coming, and so he called out to me. And you responded. Well, I didn't have any place else to go. You couldn't find a job? Hey, nope. you. None of the places where they do this kind of high-tech research would even let me in the door. Why not? I know you've got social problems, but... Come again? Nothing. I mean, someone with your talent ought to be able to... Yeah, well, maybe it has something to do with the fact that I'm black. <sighs> the Major, though, he doesn't care about what color you are. I've never met anyone like him before. He's different, you know? Oh, yeah, I know. I don't think racism's going to go away even in the 21st century. But I want to work with computers and use them to bring people closer together. In the digital world, it doesn't matter whether you're black or white, American or Russian or whatever. Everybody's going to be the same. That's what I think. Hmm. 
I'm tired because I was up late watching hentai. Right. Um, <clears throat> Melangro, thanks for the tier 330, dude. I know, right? Yeah, Nuclear, thanks for the 55, and Matt V 61, and Joking 11. Thank you. Hey, Snake, what's that you're wearing? Ah. It's spider camouflage. It used to belong to the fear. Is that right? Well, it's not as good as the stuff the fear was wearing, but it still seems to have a pretty decent amount of stealth capability. Hey, you. From the looks of it, the wearer uses stamina to power the stealth function. With this thing on, your camo index will stay at a high level no matter where you go. But if you run out of stamina, the stealth function will stop working. Keep that in mind. Aha. Uh -huh. That's the way it works. Now we know. Abyss, thank you, dude. Thank you. Let's go, dude. Gotta open the door here and enter the mountains. Jeez. What? Famished. What is happening? Mm, that tastes good. Huh? What are they doing? Munchies. <laughs> They're eating everything mm, down here. That I tastes think. good. Hey, you. Yeah, I just beat the fear. I'm so hungry. I'm famished. I want to try to throw a. Uh... I don't have any an anymore now. I, I do have a poison dart frog. Because they're so hungry. What if I throw one down here? For this guy. Hungry? Food. Yeah, dude. God, this is terrible. I'm famished. Not me that killed him, Chad. It was the frog. You want some food, little man? I got some food for you. You want some, um, tarantula? <laughs> What's that sound? <laughs> I'm famished. You can eat that? You're hungry, ain't ya? There's nothing here. There's a spider. Eat it. Oh, you just ate. You just had the munchies. That's why you're not hungry. Oh. This is the guy that had the munchies. He's already eaten everything in the fucking storage. Yeah, this guy never says he's hungry. The other guy to my right does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! I pressed the wrong button. Somehow I did not get seen there. What's wrong? Oh, he just found the body. But that that's fine, though. He's gonna see that he's like... What do you mean? Freeze. Freeze. Are you hungry down there? Yeah, you are. You want some spider? That's a spider for you. Am I blind? Where is it? Oh, it's here. I am blind. Huh? 
you. What was that? You're hungry, right? Go and eat it. It's really good. Huh? Yeah. I found some food. Yeah, dude. Oh, this is terrible. This is a war crime. Wait, he actually just straight up liked it. I should tell you how hungry he is, man. Fucking A. I guess that's not poisonous. Um, You want to eat a cobra? Are you still hungry? Huh? Look, more food. What was that? It was food. I don't think he's hungry anymore now. Eat it. <laughs> Fuck. Nothing here. <coughs> I see crabs. Spaghetti? Call HQ. Shut up. No one can call HQ, man. You're all fucked. Okay. What's up, acid girl? Boy, wake up. <laughs> Wake up. I want to try something. You're going to be my, uh... Oh, he just went to... Oh, wow. That works like that? Wow, that's crazy. That's strong. Ba -ba -da -bum -bum -bum. Yo, I need some info. Please don't. What is that? Chaff? I don't want that shit. I want to get what's over there. Yo, can you, um... Stand up. Stand up. Oh, it's a silencer. Yes. I want to get more poison. It's fun to poison them. Oh, desert face. Oh, it probably works, Duskers. Yeah, most likely. Any poison spider here? This is where we need to go. Hunting goal at 56, man. Sorry, I'm late on that, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Knock him out and rewake him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have I climbed a big ladder yet? No, we're getting there, though. Snake, are you there? Eva, where are you? In the fortress, in Groznygrad. Dr. Sokolov is here too. Is he all right? He's fine. Right now he's busy putting the finishing touches on the Shagohod. Good. That means they haven't killed him. Not yet anyway, but you better hurry. They've already finished the phase two tests. Once the final preparations are complete, they'll have no more use for him. The colonel won't have any qualms about killing him if he thinks the CIA is closing in. Eva, you can't let Sokolov out of your sight. I know. Snake, do you know where Groznygrad is? Granin told me that I should be able to get there from the mountains to the north, through an underground tunnel. Granin told you? Yeah, he even gave me the key to the warehouse. Why? Because he was drunk, I guess. You've got to be kidding me. Hell if I know. Snake. There's one problem with that route. What problem? 
The mountain entrance to the underground tunnel that leads to the fortress is sealed. You need a key to get in. Hey, Sonny. A key? What about the key Granon gave me? That key won't work. But don't worry. I'll figure something out. Okay. I have an idea. There are some ruins at the top of the mountains. Meet me there. The top of the mountains. Got oh, it. Oh, yeah, right. Wait. There's something else I've got to tell you. Now what? I heard that one of the cobras is waiting for you in the jungle at the foot of the mountains. Hmm. He's a legendary sniper called The End. Yeah, I've seen him before. That ridiculously old guy, right? Don't underestimate him. He's known as the father of modern sniping. Is he alone? No spotter? None. He's all by himself. Apparently, he doesn't need a spotter. You can't be serious. The entire forest is on his side. The forest? Stay alert. Yeah. I'd hate to have it be the end for me. It's funny. During that fight... Is this an emulator glitch or is it supposed to look like this? I don't really know. Uh... During that fight, if you if you just like start the fight and then you um, what is it? You let it go a few days. He actually dies of old age. <laughs> is it a week? Yeah. Hey, you! Oh, I gotta go ball for him, dude. Should go ball for him now, real fast. Hold up. Thank you, Desperate Pressure for the 19. Happy New Year, dude. Dinero. Weeb chat. I don't think so. Guards, I see him. This area kicked my ass last time. I was a pleb gamer back then. This time will be different. Hey, you! Wait, what? He can see me up here? That's some fucking eagle eyes right there. There's like a million guards here.
the fuck do I do now? I'll lay here and chill. We'll just chill here. Man, I did not think he would see me up there at all. I even had tree bark. I was a tree, dude. Oh, is that a new fruit? Hell yeah. <laughs> this is HQ. Patrol here. We've lost the enemy. Enter high alert. Fuck. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. No. Caution phase does take a long time. Yeah, and the thing is, it's so brutal in this game too. Because there's so many guards there in caution, it's insane. Like I can't move here because they're 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 searching through this area now. So if I move, I caught. And I don't want to be caught. Hey Asher, thanks for 30. Have any years? Dun, 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 dun. What's up here? There is a path there, but I'm too scared of going to it because there are mines. B. Yeah, they're coming here now. Or they're walking away, but there is people behind here. You think we're ever going to get a Metal Gear Solid 1 remake? There's been like rumors, right? MGS Pachinko? Oh yeah, right. Twin Snakes? Yeah, but I mean like a good remake. I Granted, I have never played Twin Snakes, but everyone's memeing on it, I feel. I'm just gonna wait for this caution now. Uh, I'm gonna get some water, hold up. Always drink water. Always drink water. All right, I'm ready. Tackle this goddamn area. <laughs> I got a new fruit too. A vegetable. Okay. I see you found a vine melon. Vine. The vine melon is a kind of melon commonly found in Salino Yarsk. Like the name says, it's a melon that grows on a vine. The flesh is crisp and delicious. Mm. The vine melon is full of potassium and carotene, so it's good for you as well. Next time you see a vine, why not check to see if there's a melon growing on it? Okay. That's cool. You like to think of MGS1 as the canon event and Twin Snakes, the VR mission that Raiden experienced. That's pretty good. The jungle is my friend. And I'll use it to my Advantage.
Oh, blue points. There's a rumor about blue points making the thing. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. And my idea will work. That, that's a magazine. I mean, it's not. That's not the type of magazine I was looking for. Uh, I was looking for a book. Oh hell yeah! Look at that. Damn. You know you want some of this, come on guards. Hey, you. There's a guy walking in front of me. Is he down there? Oh yeah, I see him, he's right there. All right, cool, 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 cool. That works. Why not? Oh, oh there's a hole here. Cool. Oh, there's like a bunch of paths here. I want him to walk around and see my book. Fuck. Give me third person view. You're not going to use that. Where'd my book go? My book just despawned. No. Anything cool and fun here? Is this a mushroom I have not eaten? That looks different. Ah, there's no way there's only two guards here. That's fishy to me, dude. Two guards in that big area? Then be human steps. I think the trees are glitched here, by the way. <laughs> because of the emulator. Not sure what causes it.
There's two guys here. I heard two footsteps. Emulator's legal as long as you use your own BIOS, <laughs> which I am, of course. Okay, now I see both of them. All right. It is, yeah. Now goes to sleep. Ugh. Thanks. Where's the other guy? I need some ammo, dude. Freeze. Uh. What the? F Freeze. Uh. Oh, don't you dare do what you were about Freeze. to do. Freeze. Uh. Oh, you naughty dude. Uh. Get your ass over here. Uh. Got some info? Answer me. Watch your feet. Okay. Answer me. This area has traps. Okay. Freeze. I want you to give me ammo. I'm not playing, all right? Give me ammo. Don't shoot me, please. Give me ammo. Oh, 16 bullets. Thanks. Two exits, huh? Okay. Gun guy, 22. Uh, yo, I'm glad you like it, man. Yo, you too, man. Thank you. Okay. Two guards over there. I see him already. And I do have a game plan. I haven't done the fire support, no. Uh oh. Who's that? Are you serious? What really? How the fuck am I gonna lose? I- Oh my god, there's a million- My worst? Maybe? Shit, dude. Oh.
good. Let the evasion go away. Don't you dare move. HQ. Yeah. This is HQ. Patrol here. We've lost sight of the enemy. That was not smooth. Kind of fucked myself over with that beehive. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. I'm playing on emulator. Shoot. Oh, fuck. They're going to come this way up. That guy. All right, he's moving. That's good. I'm using my own original bios and isos, of course. I always do. Okay, good. They're moving. Let's go. That's not a shield guy. No, it's a container, I think. They're moving it through the forest to the left. That's good. Yeah, I'm fine here. I'm fine here. Roll, snake. Good to know. There's a dude in there. And soon I'll be in there too. Wait, caution just went back? Ah. Oh. Don't you dare come this way. I want to crawl under the house. your ammo sure looks like it hey I'm Brett M63 American Light Machine Gun. Cool. Hell yeah, brother. Hey, you. Custos Noctis, thanks for the one year, dude. Okay, cool, nurse. Is Final Fantasy 15 on PS5 yet? Or are they just not going to upgrade that? Look at that. Interesting. I'm surprised they haven't, uh, they haven't, uh, ported that, like, to PS5. I'm gonna wait for this caution. Fuck it. It, it is on PS5? Really? Hmm. I don't want to play it on PC. I want to sit in the couch and do couch gaming. HQ, there we go. This is HQ. Unable to locate Bravo. Understood. Return to your position.
Yeah, I beat the fear. I died once. Lol. Like a shotgun, dude. 12 gauger. Yep. What's wrong? Men. Please, Snake, can you? Oh, my. What's wrong? <gasps> What's wrong? Can you go to sleep, man? Fucking hell. I fuck up that input so much sometimes. <laughs> Um. Uh. I think I'll just leave you be. He's fine, chat. He's still alive. Try to shoot the radio, but I guess not. <laughs> Is that a silencer, please? I mean, it is. But not for what I want. The frog is here. Okay, there's a shack there. I'm gonna blow that shit up. Yes! Fuck this. Who wants some, huh? I will fuck your food supply up. That I will. <laughs> Toy frogs, you gotta shoot all of them and you get like a bonus. Boom, baby. What does destroying the food do? It makes him hungry, so it's easy to make him eat. My 12-year-old dog just died in my arms after a short illness. Oh. I'm shattered, but your MGS Sheena feels amazing, ma'am. Keep me safe. Thanks a lot. Less than a good three. life, though, hey, dude. You'd. My condolences, ma'am. Big champ. Fredward, thanks to the 14 brother. Thank you. Oh, shit. There's no way they're coming this way. No single way in hell, in chance. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, that takes you above here. Interesting. I got this to Shinoko, yeah. I, I was get, farming it last night. Hey, you. Hey, you. Going backwards now. What the fuck? Oh yeah, there was another path I could go though in the previous area. Maybe that's where I need to go. Yeah, it should look, sure looks like it. The beehive is here. I have no plans on doing Metal Gear 5, no. Okay, 
Okay, this caution's almost over. That's good. Oh. Yeah, I've played five on stream. Yeah, when it came out. I haven't eaten in so long. See, they're hungry now because I destroyed their food thing. All right, ten seconds. Well, it's not seconds, but yeah. Mix, thanks for the eighty-four, dude. My son is to be born in a week, and I wonder so if you have any good middle names to start with R. Hey, you. Rowan. Yeah, Gravia. Thanks for the two years, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come in, HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. Unable to determine the problem. Understood. Right then. <laughs> uh, yeah, holy. I actually went for a run yesterday and today. I did six kilometers today. It felt pretty good. But I slept like a rock after it. Oh my god. I slept so hard. I haven't eaten for so long. Oh, uh, no, I'm not doing uh, Phantom Pain, Swagdol. Hey, you. Joe, thanks, 28. Uh, I guess you're not talking to me, but thanks. Oh, wait, is the time now? Nemzy Wemzy. I beg of you. Grant me the strength to take this final prey. Let me linger in this world just a little longer. I have already slept enough for one lifetime. Enough for an eternity. Didn't Kojima want this you fight to take like weeks normally? My thanks. Originally. <laughs> I have to thank you for waking me. If you hadn't shown up, my sleep would have been eternal. Snake, I am the end. I am here to send you to your ultimate fate. You'll make a fine quarry for my final hunt. All right, it's Snake Eater. Huh. Do the DSP way with a shotgun. I'm good, dude. sniper you were talking about that's the end he's a legend known as the father of sniping i've got experience sniping in urban and marine environments what about the forest never i see well that forest is divided into three areas a river a plateau and a clearing he should be lying in wait for you in one of those places sounds like this may take a while it'll be a test of endurance be careful though from what i've heard 
The End has an almost supernatural knack for camouflaging himself. So, whoever moves first loses. This guy's over a hundred years old, though, so I should have the advantage in terms of stamina. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Why's that? I've heard that his body is photosynthetic, like a plant. What is he, some kind of monster? On top of that, he can speak to the forest, too. So in other words, he knows it inside out. Uh-huh. But he doesn't know you. I'm sure you can beat him. Don't worry. I intend to. He's up there, all right. Yeah, I see I see his sniper right there. If he shoots you with one of those tranquilizer rounds, you'll start to lose stamina fast. When your stamina gauge reaches zero, you'll pass out. If you're hit by a tranquilizer round, go into the survival viewer right away and treat the wound. Use your knife to dig out the needle. Okay, but what about this parrot I found? If you run out of stamina, you won't be able to resist- Okay. Eat it? Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> I want to get up to where he is. But I'm not sure how. He's up on this mountain. The thing about the frogs is you gotta get every single one of them for a bonus, and I've already missed some back in the game, so... How the fuck do you get up here? Oh.
Oh, he's over there. God damn you. I'm getting to that cliff. That means there must be a path over here that takes me there. Oh yeah, here. Nice thumper, nice. Any freezers? <laughs> hey, you. No. <laughs> this is the freeze. Huh? How did you? You think I'm playing, huh? Huh? I've got a present. What the fuck? Oh, you little bitch. Well, you have to hold him up three times, right? Is it three times to get it, I think? Yeah, it's three times. All right, cool. That's one time. You get you get something special if you do it three times. What an idiot, dude. You just ran from me here, and now you're sitting here with your back towards me? Not the brightest, man. I mean, he's also really old. What's the matter? I'm over here. Come here, bitch. Well, I guess I got debated. How did he hear me there? What can I say? I'm gonna freeze him three times. Absolutely. I'm not sure how he knew, though. Oh my god. just getting started. This motherfucker. How are you over there? Nice cheating man. I give my life, not for honor. 
bad for you. Mm. That's damn good. I don't think I have any needles. Oh. I have a needle in my in my forehead, dude. Holy shit. Are you still there? I can find out. He is. He fell asleep. Huh? Where did you? I mean, you fell asleep, dude. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, the moment you do that, he throws it while. <laughs> Come here, I got some smoke for you, bitch. Blowing the smoke is so strong. You can't escape this, the end. The end? More like the bitch. Yeah, I said it. Damn, it's foggy. <laughs> You're not debating me again, are ya? This will be the third hands up. This is the end. It is indeed. Hey, you. Huh? How did you? Now give me my thing, all right? That's three times, dude. Uh, here, take it and go. Thank you. <laughs> Think I'm playing? Dress over here. Sweet. Oh. Oh, you just straight up ran up. Just getting started. Oh, yeah? You're making this too. I think you're making this too easy. Come here. Oh, my forehead.
Yeah, that's what happens, old man. You're not that young anymore. I know where you're going. There's no escape. You're gonna sit to my right? Loser. I got a new camo. What did I get? What did he give me? Moss. No. Wait, I have a hundred percent camo. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, so you get his camo if you freeze him three times. Now it's smoking time. Actually, what if I do puts puts on him? Uh, enormous moose, 45 months, dude. Thank you. Your rage quit to this boss first time. This and he died of old age for you when he came back. Yeah. Hey. Come here. Okay, great. Very nice. Very good. That's damn good. Your end. That's you, man. You don't have much stamina left. Come on, old dude. I ran over here. Another victim. Jesus. Oh, set the set. Thanks for continuing your sub, dude. Thank you. Freeze. Huh? 
Where's... Yeah, freeze, all right? Watch this! I've had enough. I think that's enough, isn't it? There's your parrot, bitch. I don't think so. I think I can't snipe this, huh? That thing, and then I've I threw it up again. Wandering for more than a century, and now my journey comes to a close. What a splendid way to end it all! I have no regrets. I can return to the forum. Finally an end to the end. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like him. Still. Where's his body? I want to get that loot, dude. Headshot like a ball. Thanks to six hey, months, you. dude. Tricky to have 66. Thank you. Can't I get his weapon or something? Wait, if you stay too long in one place, he will sneak up on you and then knock you out and put you in a cell? Really? Oh, there it is. Tranquilizer sniper rifle. Nice, yeah. I've already eaten that thing. Wait. Is it because I'm wearing the camo that he's not running from me? Because he was the nature's friend. I gotta call Sigan about it. Yeah, true. Oh! <laughs> Snake, what's that you're wearing? 
It's moss camouflage. I got it from the end. Interesting. It seems to have part of the end's power sealed within it. If you wear it in a place where the sun shines, you'll automatically recover stamina. Oh, wow. It'll Good. also give you a high rate of camouflage in Siviato Gorni and Socro Vieno, the end's home territory. What knocked this thing? Oh, there's the frog. Here we go. Hey, you! How can someone not call this game a masterpiece after beating the ladder boss? Hey, you! Up in the mountains now. I give my life Not for honor But for you Animals are real good here, wow. <laughs> that there is nice. Yo, bug, thanks for 27, dude. Bad content, 16, thank you. I need some gosh darn ammo, dude. Is that a vulture? Mine now. Oh, I forgot to put silencer on. Shit. HQ, please respond. This is HQ. Control here. We're being attacked. Enemy position unknown. Going into high alert. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. I just want to eat a vulture, man. Did I eat the end's parrot? I ate it and then I threw it up on him. Well, you need to kill a guard in these mountains, let the vulture eat the guard, and then eat the vulture and call paramedic. 
Wait, is that a thing? Also, where's my vulture? It fell down. No! Don't come this way. I have 95% camo. I went for a run yesterday and today, Soup. Yeah, but I'm going gym tomorrow. I gotta go ball for him. We're back. Wait, but I don't want to kill a guard myself, but I could throw like a poison animal if there is one. The thing is, I'm not sure these guys are... Uh Oh, I see Scorpion, yeah. I don't think these guys are hungry, though. Because they're not saying they're hungry, so... alive at them? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have an idea. Freeze him! <laughs> Why does the freeze not work sometimes? It just straight up doesn't work. Huh. Is it because of, like... Is it because of terrain or something? Too far? But I was right into him almost. I swear I've done it further away before. You have a rocket launcher? What the fuck? <laughs> K 
Can you free free? Oh my god, speak. Vultures. They feed on human remains. Freeze. Great, but do you have any ammo for me? Please don't. But that's the wrong ammo, but okay, whatever. Um I'll throw hey, a you. live scorpion item then. <laughs> oh. Do you need to hit them directly? Oh, what? You need to hit them directly? Bruh, I didn't know. Fuck. No, nothing is there. Don't you dare. Shit. Who's that? Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill myself. I need to get this scorpion thing. Whoa, that was dank. I need to get this scorpion thing. I want to see what happens. Animals. Trying the ways. Spider camera drains your stamina. Yo, little stamina. Put that silencer on before I forget. <laughs> H cute, really? Shit, this guy will see this morning. Freeze. Uh. Give me ammo, I need it badly. Not quite what I'm looking for, dude. mind to the game i just beat the end and i just did the the, the, the ladder ebola chan thanks to the one year yep i am uh, I, I could try that frequency i suppose
You ain't gonna call no backup, are ya? You wouldn't do that to me, would ya? Hmm? Oh, you think of wrong, all right? Wake up. Freeze. Freeze. Please don't. That's the wrong ammo, dude. Fuck. So I need to hit them directly with this. I have a sniper, but it's not a uh, silent though, I'm pretty sure. How am I supposed to hit this guy? Actually impossible to do. Remember, Chai's not me killing him. It's the scorpion. Good job, little fella. Oh, fuck. Wait, when do I get... When do I kill the vulture? Now? Okay, I can do it now. All right, all right, all right. Hey, you. Oh, this is going to be nasty. Come here. So now, <laughs> I'm gonna call and see what they say. I haven't eaten the vulture yet though. Wait, should I eat, eat it first and then call? Does that matter? Can I get two different dialogues here? Eat first, okay. <laughs> oh Lord. I could go for seconds. I oh, really, we got seconds here. Cool. Snake, the altitude in those mountains is pretty yeah, high. Yeah, 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 yeah. That means the oxygen concentration in the air is lower than normal. When there's less oxygen in the air, naturally you'll be breathing less oxygen as well, and the oxygen content of your blood will go down. In other words, you run the risk of becoming hypoxic. Hypoxia is a very serious condition. In the worst cases, it can lead to pulmonary and cerebral edema. I don't think you need to worry right now, but all the same, be careful. So, what do I need to be careful about? Thank you, thank you, man. Thank In you. In high altitude areas, you will tire quicker than normal. Ah, uh, okay. Snake, climbing uphill takes a lot of stamina as it is, but on top of that, the air up there is thinner than normal. You're burning through stamina a lot faster <laughs> than ever before. Keep an eye on your stamina gauge. Be sure to eat something to restore your stamina before you run out. Okay, let's see. Burns happen when you're engulfed in flames or get caught She's in She's not reacting, Chad. When you've got a burn, your max... That area is home to the Thai Cobra. The Thai Cobra is a large venomous snake that carries an extremely potent neurotoxin. Be careful not to get bitten. If you do get bitten, go into the survival viewer right away and use cure to give yourself a serum injection. The Thai Cobra originally comes from Indochina, Thailand, and Southern China. The ones in that area were probably imported as pets and research subjects before they escaped and turned feral. Not as food. Come again? 
They weren't imported as food. They're not for eating. So they don't taste good, then? That's not my point. It's not a matter of whether they taste good or not. People don't raise snakes for food, period. Okay. So you're saying they might be good to eat, right? Only one way to find out. Okay. To eat food. Press okay, the I don't know. I think I did something wrong, dude. That's unfortunate. Oh, for fuck's sake. Cuts happen when you get slashed with a knife or other sharp object. When you have a cut... Oh, that's sad. I worked hard for this. Snake, watch out. That area is home to the Emperor Scorpion. The Emperor Scorpion is said to be the largest scorpion in the world. Its venom is a potent neurotoxin, so take care that you don't get stung. If you do get stung, go into the survival viewer and use Cure to inject yourself with serum right away. Okay. So how's it taste? Not very good, I'm afraid. Oh. Don't get so discouraged. There are other ways to use it besides eating it, right? Like what? Like catching one alive with a tranquilizer gun and throwing it at the enemy? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I wonder if you even remember that you were on a mission. Hey, <sighs> right. There should be white rumped vultures living in that area. The white rumped vulture is a type of vulture found in India. Maybe it's after its this. Its diet consists mostly of dead animal carcasses. I don't think it'll attack you, but it's a fairly large bird of prey. So you probably won't be able to capture it alive using a tranquilizer gun. Got it. But there is something here that's bothering me. What is it? They say the white rumped vulture doesn't just eat animal carcasses. It eats human ones as well. Is that so? Yeah. So then if a person eats a white rumped vulture, does that mean he's eating human meat too? What do you think? Aww. There should be white rumped vultures okay, living in that area. Here. The white rump. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, rip that man. I'm still in a dream. Sunk ether. And I need some ammo. That's another vulture. Okay, how does that hit his body? Like, that makes... Whatever. Wake up. <laughs> Oh my god, that was scuffed as fuck. Hey, you. Freeze, freeze him! Oh my fucking god, Snake. I think the terrain is like messing with everything here. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Wake up. I'm not done with you. Freeze. Freeze. Oh, yeah. There we go. Finally. Do you have some ammo for me? Because I need it badly. Really, really badly. Please don't. That's not what I'm looking for, man. That's hey, not it you. either. That is what I'm looking for. Thank you. Happy New Year, Apple Crap. Thanks to the 83 and Tobe 50 months. Jesus. Thank you, guys. And Caruso 88. Woo. Jesus. Thank you. Damn. Aha. I thought I heard someone else.
freeze. Yeah, how you like that, huh? Speak. Just try and kill me. Answer me. Come again? Let me go. You said what now? Freeze. I know you didn't just say that. You're gonna be regretting that. Got some say? Hmm? Don't shoot! Oh, I won't shoot. I won't shoot, man. I will not. I got something else, though. You like scorpions? Hmm? <clears throat> That's what happens. Unfortunate. He yeah, told me to do it, chat. Oh, shit. Supposedly, throwing a scorpion at them does not count as a kill, no. Did I blow up the helicopter? I did, yeah. Hey! Wake up. I do know that, man. Freeze. No, wait. That's all right. Thanks.
freeze. <laughs> Come into the dungeon with me, man. Speak. Vultures. They feed ah! on. Ah! Speak. When you eat a vulture that is fed on a body. Yeah. Freeze. I gotta cure my ass. You're gonna lay here with a snake. Please don't. Damn, I can't sleep those guys because then they die. Though I'm pretty sure I already have kills this playthrough, but still. I'm using P PCSX2 emulator. I wonder if I can use a chaff G here. Will that fuck him up? Well, they have a blind spot right under them. We do know that. Why he's called Solid Snake? This is not Solid Snake. It's two different characters. This is just Snake. This is Naked Snake, yeah. I guess it would say. Cougar Snake, yeah. You'll fall asleep eventually. And when you do, I am going.
get up. RPG, <laughs> my sis. I'm gonna wait for him to wake him up again. I got a plan here. What's wrong? What's wrong? I wonder if they can hit them when they do this. Nothing here. You're supposed to walk further in, dude. also if you have an RPG answer me radio 143.97 freeze I hate this stupid flying thing. If I sleep him, he's gonna crash and die. I know exactly what I'm going to do, though, but it's a bit hard to pull off. Get up.
Fucking hell, I hate this guy so much. Wait, did he find the other guy? Get up. The stupid flying bitch. Uh, I know I I I got it now though. This cycle coming up, yeah. Here I go. Get your ass over here. No, I'm not going to do any horror games. Good. Oh yeah, what was the what was the the code he said? It's like one point three point ninety seven. Yeah. Damn you, Kojima. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do I have now? Let's see here. Now I have... An Emperor Scorpion, which is still alive. Hmm. It's Vante. So I remember this area. There's so many guards here. Especially with fucking caution. Oh, they are stride? Oh, shit. Nothing here? <laughs> Better do. Dude, I can't do anything in this area in caution. It's actually impossible. There's so many guards. Man, it's so long. Bum, 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 bum. This is not the ah! HD collection. No. Up in your Mad Max. Wait for this to pass. I got to. Hey, you yeah, burn one. Thanks, twenty five. I am feeling <laughs> quite a bit better. <laughs> I am. I am. I am. 
An executive hey, bear. You. Yeah, thank you, 39. Thank you. Hello, mud blood. I'm so hungry. There we go. This is HQ. Control here. Situation is I only have seven ammo. Not good, not good. I haven't eaten in so long. 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 Right, thanks for that eight. <laughs> 18, dude. Thank you. There must be a bunch of fat loot here, dude. Better, easier if I get the high ground. Solaris, thanks for the 26, dude. Thank you. Let's have a hung in it. 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 I'm supposed to go up there. The fat loot, though. I fuck this. Hey, you. I'm running low on ammo. He's just gonna go spaghetti. Speaking of hungry, I'm gonna get my food before this. Cause I remember there's a cutscene here.
Hey, Aon, thanks for two years. 